to see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars throw the perilous fight for the ramparts we watch who were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air keep proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled and I had Todd Angeli with the National Anthem as we get set for the opening face-off between the Bruins and Flyers. We take a look at our starting lineups here tonight. In goal for the Flyers, Felix Sandstrom. On defense, the pairing of Travis Sanheim and Cam York. And up front, Travis Konechny, Sean Couturier, and Joel Farabee. For the Bruins, Jeremy Swayman gets the call in goal. Brandon Carlos, Hampus Lindholm, your defenseman. Up front, Charlie Coyle centering Brad Marchand and Jake DeBrusque. The starting lineup is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code SPORTSHUB. New customers can bet 5 bucks to get $150 instantly in bonus bets only with DraftKings Sportsbook with code SPORTSHUB. The crown is yours. The first five minutes are presented by your New England Ford dealers. Tonight's New England Ford dealers' first five contestant is Matt Wright from Littleton. If the Bruins score the first five, Matt's going to win a pair of tickets to a future Bruins game courtesy of the New England Ford dealers. He can enter the contest at 985thesportshub.com. They drop the puck. The Flyers win it, and the Bruins and Flyers are underway for the second time this year. Swayman steers it over to the far side. Held in at the right hash. It's drilled by Konechny over to the near side. He leads the Flyers in both goals and points. Marchand up the far side. Sitting on 399 career goals. It's batted back into the Bruins zone. Bruins sling it up the middle. Here's DeBrusque. Charges over the line into the right circle on his backhand. Sent it out in front. Cut off by the Flyers. Zamula got a piece of that. It's chipped along the near side. Lindholm to the right corner. Marchand wanted to backhand that. And it went off of his blade and to the end boards. And the Flyers cleared out to center ice. Brought in by Eric Johnson. He was acquired at the trade deadline from Buffalo. Near corner, Paling. Shot from a deep angle off of Swayman and out to center ice. Here's Beecher. Two on one. Far circle. Centered. And it was blocked by Johnson. Snapped but up top by the Bruins. That's, I mean, just that's pure speed right there from Beecher. Flying down the left wing. Beats everybody up the ice. Bokwas also has a ton of speed. He's going on to the right side. Very good play there by Johnson to block that pass across because I mean, Beecher looks like a... He's, he was flying last game. He's flying so far in this one to start. Our hash Boquist dished it up top. There's a discarded stick along the far wall on the Flyers end. You know, we knew he could fly, Judd, right? And you saw it in, in spurts, I guess, early on in his tenure here with the Bruins. But if he can keep something like that up, I mean, that's going to go a long way. And it's the compete level. He got a lot of compliment from his coach last game after the way he played against the Canadians. That's not just speed, that's elite NHL speed, but as you point out, it has to be there on a consistent basis. Well, the compete level has to be there as well. About. The compete level has to be there. The speed will come with that, I think. Along the near side, David Pasternak, who has eaten the Flyers alive during his NHL career. He's got 26 goals in 29 games against Philadelphia. Well, he faced this goaltender once in his career, and that's Sandstrom. He had a hat trick in that game. And as you pointed out beforehand, Go ahead. That included his 60th goal. And for Felix Sandstrom, this is only his fourth appearance of the year. He only has one decision. Puck sent out in front of the Bruins net. Heinen converges. It's slapped along the near side. The Flyers get it back. Left point, Konechny. And the Bruins almost Defended able to well steal by it. Frederick, though. Three on two if the Bruins hurry. Over the line, left side, Frederick. 
Trying to send it into the slot. It's blocked back to him. And as he was going to deliver his shot, Sanheim picked his pocket. Frederick gets it back. Yes. Lost the puck. A newly formed line here because you got Van Riemsdijk back in the lineup. And at least start the game, Van Riemsdijk's going to play with Zaka and Pasternak. So Geeky, Frederick, and Heinen together. Heinen has a strong game, including the goal against the Canadians. Bruins banked the puck in. Marchand was offside. He had to go back and tag up. We're three minutes in and scoreless. Bruins and Flyers. That line had a conversation with Jim Montgomery this morning at the morning skate after it was pretty much over. Center circle. The Bruins guided ahead. Carlo couldn't reach it. The Flyers will set it up back in their own zone. Here's Johnson. 16th year in the league. He'll pound it deep. Won a Stanley Cup with Colorado and back in 22. Back of the Bruins net, Cam Atkinson. He was a healthy scratch in the last game, and it has not been a very good season for him. That's not the first time this year he's been a healthy scratch. Buck sizzled toward the net and never got to Swayman. Up the right side to Brusque. He'll scoot over the line. One hands it into the right corner, trying to fend off Nick Delorier, who leads the league with 10 majors. Far side to Brusque, pounds it up top. It's swatted back of the net by the Bruins, reaching for it, Marchand, but it skips to the right corner. McAvoy plays it. Far point. Now, drilled down low by Grizzly. Grizzly and James Van Riemsdyk were out of the lineup and sick for the last game against Montreal. Both back in. Now out in front. Pasternak a drive, and he ripped oh. it just wide. McAvoy making things happen down low, but it was Zaka emerging with the puck and finding a wide open Pasternak in the slot. Pasternak trying to shake around Zamula. Two on Cutting out two on one over the line. Left side. Here's Hathaway. Left circle. Feeds across. They score. Ryan Paling in the far circle. Fires one home. Fires one. Bruins nothing. Yeah, it's the odd man rushes, and that's something that plagued the Bruins uh, against Philly early in that game the last time these two teams met. You know, you get a great opportunity at one end, and then you, you have that pinch, I think, by McAvoy. Uh, probably doesn't want to go there. He's trying to push the envelope, but he, he tries to pinch down as Pasternak turned the puck over. He's jumping up into the play, and Pasternak... Had that puck kind of stripped from him as McAvoy was moving forward, and then the two-on-one coming back the other way, and Hathaway makes the right play. He's coming down the left wing. He makes the pass out in front of Grizzlick's stick, and that allows the shot to be taken there, and the nice one-timer finish uh, by Paling. So the Bruins are going to have to play from behind as this puck is drilled into the near corner of the Bruins zone. Pete drives it around to the far side, and it's sent toward the front of the Bruins net. He played the man and the puck to the Bruins up the right side. Here's Brazo over the red line, over the blue line. Hands to Beecher. Flicked it into the right corner. Brazo got finished. Along the near side, the Flyers get it free and out they come. Here's Owen Tippett. Got goals in back-to-back -back games after being a little quiet here recently. Far side Tippett. He's a big man who can skate and can fire it. He signed an eight-year contract extension a couple of months ago with Philadelphia. Five minutes gone by. Bruins down one nothing. Back of the net. Here's Peak. Snapped it up the middle. Didn't connect with Frederick. Flyers looking to counter. Drilled along the near side by Farabee. Swayman got a piece of it back of the net. Near corner. Lindholm raked it up the boards. Held in by York. Flinged it to the far corner. And the Bruins get it out to center ice. Flyers tag up. Bring it back in. Here's Santa. Pocket picked in the slot. It's fired and Couturier's drive eaten up by Swayman. 14-33 left here in the first. one nothing Philadelphia. Yeah, I'd like them to be a little bit more shorthanded there in their own zone on that shift. But just going back to the goal, you know, it's a split decision. You're, you know, when you're a defenseman, you're trying to jump up into the play, right? That's They want you to do that. And when that puck gets turned over just inside the blue line, now you're going the wrong direction. And as soon as it gets turned over... You're not going to be able to get back, and it's the two-on-one with Grizzly because the only D-man back. They saw a near circle in the Bruins' end. Flyers win it. Here's Samula along the near side. Left of the net. Centered out in front. Swayman the save on a drive by Paling. Along the near wall, Cates dished it to the near corner. The Bruins throw it up the right side, and here comes Frederick. Angles through the middle of the ice and flipped it into the far corner of the flyer end. Flyers don't get it out. Big check behind the play as Johnson got knocked down by Heinen. And the puck sent out to the neutral zone. Frederick got knotted up with Hathaway, his former teammate. Near corner. The Flyers trying to send it into the corner. Picked off by Carlo. He'll sail it up the middle and out to center ice. Brought back in by Adder. He'll fire it to the end boards. Adder back of the net. Met by three Bruins. Puck skids along the near side. Here's Tippett. Took a shoulder from Boquist. 
Hoquist spins, lost it in the high slot. Heinen gets it back, and he'll knuckle it toward the flyer line. The Bruins changing. We have a hand pass. 13.34 left here on the first. Flyers one, and the Bruins nothing. On the 98.5, the Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. One, two, three, four. Those are numbers, but you already knew that. If you want to know what number you're going to pay each month for your car, use Kelly Blue Book My Wallet on AutoTrader. They're really good at numbers. AutoTrader. With the most rental listings anywhere, Apartments.com can help you find a pet-friendly place that really speaks to you. Or, in this case, your pets. <coughs> yes, come to me, my furry four-legged friends. I'm your new home. Sniff me, fly around on me, bask in my sunspot. Who appreciates my windowsills quite like you? Who gets more face time with my wood flooring? Who's going to zoom me when they see my neighborhood park? That's right, you are. Apartments.com, the place to find a place. Well, I'll be a hitchhiker in an Easter Bunny costume. Hop in. Where are you headed? BJ's Wholesale Club to do my Easter shopping. I have so many baskets to fill. That costume is so lifelike. There's not even a zipper. Oh, there's BJ's. I can hop out here. Look at him go. Get a $15 digital coupon when you spend $150 on practically anything in one transaction through March 31st. Coupon will appear in your digital gallery on April 4th. Terms apply. Go to BJ's.com slash Easter coupon for details. Not a member? Join today. BJ's. Absurdly simple savings. At Marshall Building and Remodeling, we care about your home because we care about the life you live in it. Why do we do what we do? It's simple. The people. We've raised the standard for what you can expect during a roofing, siding, and window project because you deserve more. More communication, more options, more time spent on the important things in life instead of worrying about home maintenance. So when it comes to your next roofing, siding, or window project, expect more. Get more with Marshall. Call today or visit marshallbr.com to schedule your free estimate. The home of the Rivs, the Sports Hub. The first five minutes of tonight's game were brought to you by your New England Ford dealers for 47 straight years. More people have put their hard-earned money on a Ford F-Series pickup than on any other truck. Get a great deal on one today. Ryan Paling opens the scoring, his ninth of the year for Garnet Hathaway and Yegor Zamula. Time of the goal, 418. Ryan Paling signed to a contract st extension by Danny Briere, the first-year general manager back in January, a two-year 3.8 million dollar deal. He's found a home here in Philadelphia after being a first round pick by the Montreal Canadiens. Puck hacked up the far side out to center ice. McAvoy tried to dish it to the middle. That got cut off by Forster who had a two goal game against the Bruins in that first meeting in Philadelphia. Puck slides to the near circle to Bruins end. Scooped up by McAvoy. Philadelphia making some changes up the right side to Coyle. At the red line, he'll crank it in. Far corner it goes. Bruins still looking for their first shot on net. Now up the middle, dragged out by Cates. Hands to Paling. Right circle, it's sent toward the front of the net, but the Flyers couldn't get a tip on it. Zamula wings it across. Johnson shoots, blocked by Brazo. Watherspoon applied the hit in the far corner, lost his footing. And Brazo had it just flip over his stick along the far side, recovered by Peak. Uh, reverse that there. You get away with it. Bruins get it out. Brazo drives it in. Sandstrom can't stop it back of the net. Take a note of that one. Back of the net. Zamula. Flyers are missing three regulars on defense. Nick Sealer, Rasmus wrist line to Jamie, Jamie Drysdale all on IR. And this puck is flipped. Onto the gates where the Bruins were entering and exiting. So we have a stop. 12-15 left here in the first one nothing Flyers. In between the pipes is sponsored by Charles D. Sheehy. If you're in the piping trades, you need to call Charles D. Sheehy, Boston's premier piping and mechanical product supplier. Sheehy is driven to deliver. Between the pipes for the Flyers here today is Felix Sandstrom. And for the Bruins, Jeremy Swayman. For Sandstrom, this is only his fourth appearance of the season. His last came in relief after Erson got pulled on Thursday. As this puck is chipped onto the Flyers bench, we've got to stop. And John Tortorella had mentioned with the amount of games and workload they had been giving to Sammy Erson, Tortorella said he's played so much hockey, we have to start to manage that amount right now. Yeah. I mean, if you've got an eye towards the play, and you've got to balance it, though, because you're trying to make the playoffs as well. So it's, it's not an easy situation for the Flyers after they lost Hart. 
Flyers win the draw, fade back, and then drill it out to center ice. Bruins get it back. Along the near side, Pasternak rattles it in. Back of the net, Sandstrom. They'll dish it along the near side. And they flip it up the middle to the center circle. The Bruins trying to bat it back up the middle. It's Lindholm to Pasternak. Three on two. Shoots just wide of the far post. He went low stick side. Well, he's, had, he's had the Bruins' best chance. That was that one-timer off the pass from Zaka. Nice pass from Lindholm, too. You know, he... Lindholm sometimes hold on to that puck. You, you think, okay, move it, move it, move it. But then he makes the right pass, and it's a zip pass right you know, to the man in the middle. He was the guy who helped set up the overtime game winner, getting the puck ahead to Brad Marchand in yeah. Montreal two nights ago. Well, he made a good play defensively and then won the battle. Oh. Look out over the line right side. Here's Atkinson shoots and Swayman the same as the Bruins nearly got caught in a chain. Well, Lindholm was going to the bench when that puck got turned over. McAvoy came across to force that shot from Atkinson. It was not a hard shot, though, either. 11-15 left here in the first. one nothing Flyers. Faceoff will take place in the far circle in the Bruins' end. Beecher, Brazo, and Boquist remain on the ice. It's Beecher who will take the faceoff. He won 8 of 11 in Montreal. Wins this one here. Grizzly, a hand back of the net. Atkinson pressuring and the puck to the Flyers near point lot with a drive that bounces to the far corner Delorier jammed it to the near corner near side Lawton trying to pry it free Atkinson near side lost it and the Bruins whisk it to the middle here's Grizzly left wing feet Boquist dished it over the line took a hit from Adderd after he did yeah that's a little soft but they've got themselves a two-on-one just a little bit too far for Beecher at the end boards Couple players wrestling for the puck. It's Boquist looking for Brazo. Flyers get a piece of it. Peak, right circle, Beecher. Backhands to the right corner. Boquist, back of the net. Sent it to the near side. Trying and to find will scoop it up. Don't know if Brazo was expecting that. The three Bs are going to change for the Bruins up front. 10-20 left here on the first. Bruins trailing 1-0. Zamula ripped it over the line right side. Forster tracks it down in the right corner. Shoulder to the shoulder with Watherspoon who pins the puck. Far wall dug out by the Flyers. Racing into the right circle. Now far side. Frost sent it to Forster. Far corner. And the Bruins deflected up the middle back into the Philadelphia end. Tracking back for it is Zamula. Eric Johnson trying to run a little interference on Pasternak as it's chipped into the neutral zone. Here's Geeky. Snapped it right side at center ice. McAvoy. He'll pound it in. 9.38 left here in the first. one nothing Philadelphia. Johnson took a bump from Geeky. Puck is trapped. And the Flyers trying to use the middle. They kick it to the near point, And it's punched out to center ice by Tippett. Far corner Hathaway. Crashing into him, Grizzly. Puck floats to the near side. The Bruins punch it up right wing and out to center ice. Here's Heinen. Heinen's got a goal against the Flyers this year. Opened the score in the other night in Montreal. Far hash. It's Lindholm. Chip to the end boards. Frederick poke, pokes it to the far side. Gets it back. Stumbled. And the Flyers chip it ahead. Can't get it out. Far hash. Geeky. Throws a backhand behind the net. The Flyers get to it. And now Farabee banks it out to center ice. Took a hit from Carlo and the puck to Lindholm back in his own end. He'll dish it up the left side. The Bruins changing. 8.39 left here on the first. One up in Flyers. Puck sent up the right side out to center ice. Driven down low by Farabee. Back to get it is Peak. Guides it to the far corner. Watherspoon up the left side for DeBrusque. Tried to work his way to the middle, had his pocket picked by Cates. Stops far side. DeBrusque steps into him, separates him from the puck. The Flyers keep it in, however, with an active stick. Far corner, Konechny. Stripped to the puck. Nice play to the middle. And Coyle, with a little help, it's floated out to center ice. The Bruins control, and the Flyers are going to change. Just a lot of work along the boards, a lot of puck battles, some physical play along the walls. Up the right side, here's Boquist. They'll fire it in, go chase after it. Back of the net, Johnson rims it far side. The Bruins get a piece of it, but this puck hops out. Razzo steers it 
Along the near side, gets a return feed for McAvoy. Three on two. Brazo far circle. Beecher shoots. And Sandstrom got a piece of it. Did that hit the post? Uh, he got a piece of it, and then it lay, It was sitting right behind him. Nobody could locate it, and the Flyers were able to clear it out of harm's way. Nice three-on-two passing play for the Bruins' first shot on goal. And it comes with just over seven minutes remaining in the first. Here's Grizzlick up the right side. Pasternak flips. Zaka backhand, Whoa. and he sent it high. He airmailed that. High slot now. Carlo fakes right circle. Fanned on his wrister. And the Flyers get it back. They lob it to the center circle. Right play by Carlo. He just fanned on it. Pasternak tossed it into the far corner. Back of the net. Sandheim turns up the far side. Held in by Lindholm. Shoots. Sands from the save. And he holds on. He left a rebound momentarily. 6.51 left here in the first. Flyers one and the Bruins nothing. On the 98.5, the Sports Hub Bruins radio network. Driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. Well, I'll be a hitchhiker in an Easter Bunny costume. Hop in. Where are you headed? BJ's Wholesale Club to do my Easter shopping. I have so many baskets to fill. That costume is so lifelike. There's not even a zipper. Oh, there's BJ's. I can hop out here. Look at him go. Get a $15 digital coupon when you spend $150 on practically anything in one transaction through March 31st. Coupon will appear in your digital gallery on April 4th. Terms apply. Go to BJ's.com slash Easter coupon for details. Not a member? Join today. BJ's. Absurdly simple savings. At UMass Memorial Health, you can be a nurse, mental health clinician, medical assistant, but you can also be a after hours musician, family chef, t-ball coach. That's because we hire you, all of you, and treat you like a person, not a position, with great pay and excellent benefits like retirement savings plans and tuition assistance. Come be you at UMass Memorial Health. Explore all we offer at wehireyou.org. Does your money work hard for you? Earn more with an e-checking account from Westerly Community Credit Union. Get a crazy high interest rate, plus there's no monthly fee, no minimum balances, and you get up to $20 each month in free ATMs. Visit us online at westerlyccu.com slash e-checking or visit one of our branches to open an account today. The only place to hear the game, the Sports Hub. Service Credit Union is teamed with Bruins defenseman Charlie McAvoy for defending New England's heroes. Service donates $100 for every block shot and $1,000 for every shutout to pay for heart and cancer screenings for New England police and firefighters. Learn more now at servicecu.org slash 73. Face off far circle on the Flyers end. Bruins down one nothing on a Ryan Paling goal. Bruins win the draw. McAvoy gets a pass along the near side from Grizzlick. Pasternak shoots. Sandstrom the save. He had Van Riemsdyk screening out in front. I don't know if that was a set play or not, but Pasternak off the face off finds himself wide open again in the slot. Steaming ahead here. Zaka over the line. High slot. Left it for the late coming Grizzlick. His shot deflected over the protected netting. And we've got to stop. I mean, Pasternak's had two really good looks here in this first period. One, he he shot wide off the pass from Zaka, and then that time, Zaka's got his legs here early on in this game. Sandstrom's save that he made on Beecher, he just got across, and that puck snuck underneath his pad, but he got just enough of it to keep it out as he was moving from right to left, and that puck sat right behind him as just behind the goal, or just behind the goal line on the side of the net, and the Flyers were able to locate it and clear it out. 6.26 left here in the first. one nothing Flyers. Face out left circle. Coyle digs in. Pride free by Marchand. The puck lays at the end boards. Marchand working against Sanheim. Sanheim with a hip check got him away from the puck. But then it's given away. Here's DeBrusk back of the net. DeBrusk tripped up. We play on. Couturier knots him up. Far circle. It's Coyle. Snapped it up top. Lindholm shoots. Didn't get through. Rebound. Marchand drives it to the far corner, locked up with Couturier. And the Flyers will muscle it out to center ice. Bruins create a turnover the blue line, dragged in by Marchand. Far circle, shoots, and it's deflected off the surface. Uh, Sandheim got, came over and got a piece from Marchand. A little frustrated there. Gave him a little shot. Gave him a little cross check. Not enough to take a penalty, hopefully. 5.49 left here in the first. We'll take a timeout with the Flyers up 1-0 here in Boston. 
on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. Well, I'll be a hitchhiker in an Easter Bunny costume. Hop in. Where are you headed? BJ's Wholesale Club to do my Easter shopping. I have so many baskets to fill. That costume is so lifelike. There's not even a zipper. Oh, there's BJ's. I can hop out here. Look at him go. Get a $15 digital coupon when you spend $150 on practically anything in one transaction through March 31st. Coupon will appear in your digital gallery on April 4th. Terms apply. Go to BJ's.com slash Easter coupon for details. Not a member? Join today. BJ's. Absurdly simple savings. At Marshall Building and Remodeling, we're changing the way homeowners think about roofing, siding, and window projects. It doesn't have to be stressful or take weeks of your time. Our process is efficient and stress-free every step of the way. It starts with a free consultation where we discover the best options for your home and budget together. We want to talk with you, not at you. And most of all, we want to listen. At Marshall, we know every roofing, siding, and window project is unique, so we work hard to never lose sight of your vision. It's your project, your terms. Why settle for less? At UMass Memorial Health, you can be a nurse, mental health clinician, medical assistant, but you can also be a after hours musician, family chef, t-ball coach. That's because we hire you, all of you, and treat you like a person, not a position, with great pay and excellent benefits like retirement savings plans and tuition assistance. Come be you at UMass Memorial Health. Explore all we offer at wehireyou.org. Felger and Maz, afternoons 2 to 6 on the Sports Hub. And the Boston Bruins Foundation's March to a Million. You can purchase tickets for this special 50-50 raffle presented by DraftKings and support the goal of raising $1 million by the end of March with a chance to take home half of the jackpot. Plus, if you purchase tickets by March 22nd, you'll be entered to win the early bird prize of 24-25 season tickets. Visit at bostonbruins.com slash 5050 to enter. Face off far circle the Flyers in. The Bruins trying to fish it out of there. They've got it. Right point McAvoy fires and it got blocked in the slot. Van Riemsdyk had it go off his leg and out to center ice. Grizzlick back in his own end. Chased by Frost. Bruins dish it up the middle and Pasternak swoops back to get it at his own line. Right wing feed Van Riemsdyk. He'll backhand it deep. He's played eight of his 15 seasons in the NHL with Philadelphia. Right circle now. Here's Pasternak right of the net. Right on cork a shot. And he had his stick lifted, and the Flyers just slide it out to center ice. Grizzlick trying to get in big Owen Tippett's way. It's slapped behind the Bruins net. Flyers making some changes. Grizzlick up the left side to Frederick. A dish to the middle. Van Riemsdyk cut off. The Bruins trying to get it back. Frederick. Had it chopped off his stick by Delorier. Frederick hounding Delorier back of the net. It's drilled up the middle and out to center ice. Back in his own end, Carlo. Chased by Locke. Bangs it over to the far side. And out to center ice is Geeky, center circle. Over the line right side. Trying to get around to check. Zamula stands yeah, up. He tried, to, he tried to knock the stick of Zamula out of the way as he made that move. Our side in the neutral zone, Atkinson sent it along the near side of the, right in front of the penalty box, and it's tapped in by the Bruins, sent back into the Bruins zone, look out here, Konechny shoots, Swayman the save, rebound, Swayman stop that. Now DeBrusk scoots over the line, eye slot, drops to Geeky, right circle, fires, he scores! Two huge saves at one end, and then Morgan Geeky rifles in the game, tire, Bruins one, fires one. Yeah, uh, Geeky gets his 16th of the season. This is a bomb from the right wing side. As he got this pass, but you said it, Connecting got lost. Nobody saw him. He came off the bench and he got behind everybody. Tried to go glove side on the first shot, had a rebound opportunity, denied by Swayman, and then DeBrusque flying up the middle of the ice. Dishes this puck over to the right wing, then drives to the net. And this puck, not sure if it ramped up or not, but this puck got up in a hurry from the right wing circle. On the shot from Geeky, just big wind up, old old fashioned slap shot. And it got up and over top of the blocker side of Sancho. So the Bruins have squared the game at one. Far circle of his own zone, Watherspoon shoveled it back in the net. Geeky along the, or pardon me, peak along the near side, settles it. Upright wing, 
He'll crank it in. It got deflected to the right corner off a flyer stick. Johnson. Wanted to play it up the far side. Couldn't pull it off the yellow kick plate cleanly. The Bruins slap it around to the near side. And just hopping onto the ice was Carlo. Could not keep that puck in. Drives it to the right corner. One apiece. 3.37 left here in the first. And we're to 1-1 one, one game. Puck drifted into the left corner of the Bruins' end. And we have an icing call here on Philadelphia. Yeah, I don't know if Philadelphia would be crazy about that. That was pretty close. <laughs> but another icing call sponsored by Tito's Handmade Vodka. Enjoy the game of the glass of Tito's on ice. Tito's Cocktail of the Week is the Tito's all-time favorite. For tonight's recipe, go to 98.5thesportshub.com. So Morgan Geeky gets it started for the Bruins. And for every goal that the Bruins score this season... Tito's Handmade Vodka will donate $100 to the Cam Neely Foundation, up to $10,000. Keeping an eye on a couple games here tonight, Judd. we got uh, Tampa taking on Florida. Tampa was up 4-0 in that game. Florida scored the last couple of goals, now 4-2 late in the second period. Jones come into the action one point behind the Panthers. The Panthers have a game in hand in the Atlantic Division. Toronto also taking on Carolina here tonight. That's a big tilt. Marshan over the line, left side of the far circle. Hits the brakes, twirls, trying to get around Sanheim up top. Lindholm bangs it left of the net, looking for DeBrusque. Far side, DeBrusque got flattened. Bruins keep it in briefly, and now out at center ice. Here's Cates, took a bump from McAvoy. Far corner, Cates drags it back of the net. Sent it out in front, went through some legs, and it's carried out of danger by DeBrusque. He'll chip it down the right wing boards. Bruins trying to change quickly. One apiece, 240 remaining here in the opening period. Now Grizzly, back of his net. He'll carry it up the middle, looks left, feeds left, and Carlo will snap it in. Around to the near side it comes. Right corner stall. Had it slapped off his stick. Far corner Carlo dives in. Boquist trying to chip it free. And the Flyers guide it up the glass far side. It wobbles back into the Bruins end. Carlo. Zipped it back out to center ice with the Bruins changing high slot pull and drag lot and we're gonna have a penalty here on Carlo Yeah, but to me this is not this I mean Carlo's gonna get the penalty But you, you got to be a little bit more aware if you're going towards the bench if that puck's gonna be Carlo's got one option That's to come back up the boards and if you're going for a change, but you, you got to wait on that change and play the puck Now he's flat-footed because they're coming right back at him I, I, I don't like that change right there. I know you're getting off the ice. You want to have quick changes. You want to be fresh, but it, he only has one option, and that's to go right back up the boards, unless he takes it back into his own zone, but he's under pressure there. So why? Put it right back up the boards where you know you've got support. First power play here in the game. Philadelphia dead last in the league on the man advantage. It, just over 13 percent. So then, you know, then you run the risk of, of too many men on the ice. So, near point, it's Konechny. Walks to the near hash, looking back door, holds, still holds, looking back door. His pass out in front, blocked by McAvoy. The puck squirts to the far side. Back of the net, Faraby. Somebody's lost yeah, a no stick. No stick for Marshand. Puck drilled near side. Here's Konechny. Konechny. Throws it far circle in the shot by Tippett, blocked by Marshan, and he's got the puck out at center ice, and then it skips away from him. He's going to change. Konechny brings it back in. 127 left here in the first, one apiece. Konechny, near circle, backs it off, swings it up top. York deliberately over to the far side, Tippett. Right circle to Frost on the half wall far side. Attacks to the dot, shoots off the post. Rebound, swing and a miss by Konechny. Left point Frost, far circle Tippett, sent it out in front, and Faraby skids the puck to the far side, and the Bruins will sizzle it all the way down with a minute to go here in the first period. Along the near side, Zamula leaves it back in his own end for the trailing Lawton. Lawton stick handles his way over the line near side, Couturier rims it around to the far wall, Atkinson drives it back in the net, Couturier backhands it to the near point. Lawton up top. Zamula swings far side. Atkinson right hash. Passed it up top. Left point now. Lawton shoots. Blocked by Peak. Sent to the far circle. Lawton drives it into the slot. Forster dusts it off. 
gets it, fires wide, rebound far side. 20 seconds left here in the period. Pliers in the power play, high slot Lawton. Poke check by Beecher, but the puck stays in far side. High slot Zamula, pa pass bounced off his stick. Forster shoots, blocked by Peak. Far that corner Couturier. Two blocks on the ship. Bruins back at full strength, sent out in front, and Swayman freezes this as the pass hits. Peak in the foot, and that's going to do it for the opening 20 minutes of play. At the end of one, Bruins won, Flyers won. Stay with us. We're going to have our final installment of our sit-down interview with James Van Riemsdyk, who was honored before the game for playing in 1,000 NHL contests. We'll bring you back in just a moment on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Hottest CRV. Hitchhiker in an Easter Bunny costume. Hop in. Where are you headed? BJ's Wholesale Club to do my Easter shopping. I have so many baskets to fill. That costume is so lifelike. There's not even a zipper. Oh, there's BJ's. I can hop out here. Look at him go. Get a $15 digital coupon when you spend $150 on practically anything in one transaction through March 31st. Coupon will appear in your digital gallery on April 4th. Terms apply. Go to BJ's.com slash Easter coupon for details. Not a member? Join today. BJ's. Absurdly simple savings. At UMass Memorial Health, you can be a nurse, mental health clinician, medical assistant, but you can also be a after hours musician, family chef, t-ball coach. That's because we hire you, all of you, and treat you like a person, not a position, with great pay and excellent benefits like retirement savings plans and tuition assistance. Come be you at UMass Memorial Health. Explore all we offer at wehireyou.org. Looking to consolidate your debt, lower your interest rate, or need to borrow money? We can help. Borrow up to $50,000 with a personal loan from Westerly Community Credit Union. With our low rates, you can enjoy one monthly payment you can afford. Apply today at westerlyccu.com loan. Visit one of our branches located in Wakefield, Westerly, Richmond, or Coventry. Or call 401-596-7000 today. BackstageCountry.com, your online home for all things country music. <laughs> Wondering who made our list of the top five all-time queens of country music? Did Carrie Underwood make the cut? Find out now when you text Queens to 45911 and scroll through the list on BackstageCountry.com. Text Queens to 45911 to see the talented artists who rounded out our top five list. Jason Tatum plays here. Tip the entry to oh. Smart. No look, bounce pass to the cutter. Jason Tatum, who lays it up and in with the right hand. And the Celtics are dancing right now. They are Rogs in across half court. And fans headed for the exit. Tatum, pull up three. Good night. You know what MVPs do? They still got 29 in the Tatum to the right. Pulls up on LeBron. They're isolated. Right side of the floor. Tatum spins on the baseline. Turns, fade. Oh. Get it! This is the home of the Celtics, 98.5 The Sports Hub. Duncan is dropping a new kind of energy, introducing Sparked Energy by Duncan. It's energy for the fun of it. Available in two full-on delicious flavors, Berry Burst and Peach Sunshine. It's what you need when your afternoon needs you to get going. A revitalizing burst of caffeine, vitamins, and minerals gives you the energy to turn the fun up to 11. True story. Drop by or order ahead on the Duncan app and get a medium Sparked Energy for $3. Fruit flavored contains 0% fruit juice, caffeine from caffeine and guarana. Participation may vary. Limited time offer. Terms apply. The home of the bees, the Sports Hub. Tonight, the Bruins have won seven faceoffs to this point. So, Wellpoint, formerly Unicare, Charlie Coyle, and Franklin Sports will donate $105 to provide Franklin Sports street hockey equipment to 15 Massachusetts towns to help kids get out and play to improve their mental health. So far, they've donated $1,260 on their way to $15,000. Get started on your path to whole health now at wellpoint.unicare.com. We've hit the first intermission here at TD Garden. The Bruins won and the Flyers won. Tonight we're going to wrap up our conversation with 
Bruins winger James Van Riemsdyk, who was honored before the game for playing 1,000 games. And every NHL player has idiosyncrasies. JVR is not alone. And we asked what he has added to that mix across his 15 years in the National Hockey League. Yeah, lots have been added over the years. I think I hear about it from Pasta. He's always wondering what's in my backpack, so I might have to just keep that keep that a secret. But, uh, no, I would say for me I'm very routine-based and um, want, wanting to try different things that I think might uh, give you an edge as far as whether that's recovery or performance or whatever that might be. So um, whatever you can, because I think, again, I think the, the longer you play, I think you realize uh, over the grind of a, of a season and things like that, you have to be smart. Um smart about how you uh uh how you work in the sense of you want to there's certain times when the schedule gets a little bit crazy and maybe you're a little bit more recovery focused and there's certain times when you have a couple of extra days where you might want to really make sure you get good work in and kind of work at your craft a little bit more as far as on the ice a little bit extra time with some skills and things like that so yeah for me i think it's just always willing to adapt and learn and and try different things that you think uh, can have an impact uh, on all that. So I'm definitely in that sense, I think. Uh, if you ask Pasta, he'll probably tell you too. But uh, yeah, there's definitely some different things I've tried over the years that may be seen as quirky. But uh, I think it's all part of the process of uh, of learning learning stuff and trying to figure out ways to get better. Since you referenced the backpack, are we talking like a Brent Burns style backpack? No, it's not. It's not that big, but it's got some different uh, gadgets in there. Maybe some vitamins, things like that. No, but uh, just kind of a bag of tricks that I that, that you have every day, depending on what you might need. But uh, yeah, usually it's stuff like that in there. I know you and I had talked about this a little bit earlier in the season that the way last year ended with Philadelphia, I'm sure there were some people thought James Van Riemsdyk's done. Is part of you enjoying? showing people that you have more left in the tank. Absolutely. I think uh, as a competitor, I think just kind of how it went the last couple of years, especially in Philadelphia, I definitely felt I had more to show and more to give. So I was definitely looking forward to a fresh opportunity um, this summer to really kind of show what I could do and show that I still have a lot left to give. So um, but it's been super exciting to join this group, and I think uh, – Again, all the success that, uh, that this organization has had over the course of my career, it seems like every year there, the Bruins have been a uh, contending team. So uh, to get a chance to join up with that and try to try to fit in with that has been uh, been a lot of fun, and I'm definitely very grateful for uh, for that opportunity. Do you have a different perspective getting a chance to chase it this year? This is going to be your first opportunity to jump back into the playoffs for a number of years. Yeah, you know what? I get, like you said, I think you get more perspective the longer you play, especially when you go through some of the, the, the ups and downs over the course of your career. Obviously not making the playoffs the last few years in, in Philadelphia, and uh, it, it can become it can weigh on you a bit in the sense where you're playing some of these games when you're out of it and things like that, and you want to get that taste of being back in the playoffs, at, uh, um, playing those meaningful games, playing playing the reason why we all play is was a chance to chase after the uh, the Stanley Cup. So... Um, so yeah, hoping uh, again for this year to, to for us to, to continue to keep pushing along and uh, and yeah, it, uh, that's that's obviously why you play is to get a chance to play in the playoffs. Just before the All Star break, we had a chance to talk with you post game or maybe it was in game in Philadelphia, and they gave you a really nice welcome back tribute video. And I think at the time, the way I took it was that it affected you maybe more than you originally thought. What's it going to be like when you look back? And there's an even wider lens, and the Bruins reflect on 1,000 games in James Van Riemsdyk's career. Yeah, I think, again, that was, uh, like, going back to the Philadelphia one, like we, I think we had talked about, it was, uh, I don't know if I necessarily expected it, because, again, our, the, the, the years, I, obviously I was there a lot of years and appreciated my time there. The organization uh, was great to me and my family, and it's funny coming to the league as a, as a as a 20 year old kid trying to figure things out and then obviously leaving there and uh be spending eight years of my life there and then this past time leaving there and having had a couple kids and things like that it's uh, you're basically at a whole different stage of life so you kind of can be a little nostalgic uh, about the, some of those pieces and then obviously this next one is such a huge milestone i think uh, you're trying to uh, stay in the moment and things like that and enjoy it and maybe there's some times i'm sure Leading up to the game, and maybe after you'll you'll be a little bit reflective. You'll have some. I'll have a lot of people in town to that have helped me along the way and shared in this journey with me along the way. That'll be there. So, kind of enjoying that uh, with them uh, will be a lot of fun. But uh, certainly a lot of uh, 
a lot of people that have been there supporting me over the years, and um, it'll be fun to, to to share it all with them and uh, just to. Just again, it's been uh, been a long road, and I know there's uh, I know there's a lot of good uh, good hockey left in me. But these milestones are sort of cool to help you show how grateful and appreciative you are to be able to play in the league for for a while. He's got around 80 people here on hand for tonight's festivities. And Reimstek and the Bruins nodded up at one at the end of 20 minutes of plays. We take a look at the scoring summary. Ryan Paling opened it up with his ninth at 4:18. Morgan Geeky tied it with his 16th from Jake DeBrusque and Parker Watherspoon at 15:51. Shots on goal in favor of the Flyers, 8-5 on the man advantage. Only the Flyers had a chance, and they were scoreless with it. I'll update the out-of-town National Hockey League scoreboard in just a moment. On the 98.5, the Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. Well, I'll be a hitchhiker in an Easter Bunny costume. Hop in. Where are you headed? BJ's Wholesale Club to do my Easter shopping. I have so many baskets to fill. That costume is so lifelike. There's not even a zipper. Oh, there's BJ's. I can hop out here. Look at him go. Get a $15 digital coupon when you spend $150 on practically anything in one transaction through March 31st. Coupon will appear in your digital gallery on April 4th. Terms apply. Go to BJ's.com slash Easter coupon for details. Not a member? Join today. BJ's. Absurdly simple savings. At UMass Memorial Health, you can be a nurse, mental health clinician, medical assistant, but you can also be a after hours musician, family chef, t-ball coach. That's because we hire you, all of you, and treat you like a person, not a position, with great pay and excellent benefits like retirement savings plans and tuition assistance. Come be you at UMass Memorial Health. Explore all we offer at wehireyou.org. BackstageCountry.com, your online home for all things country music. Country music has so many generous artists who always seem to jump in to help those in need. We're spotlighting five who lead by example and lend a helping hand to charitable causes. See who made our list when you text GIVE to 45911. Text GIVE to 45911 and read all about it right now on BackstageCountry.com. Connect with Buston's Home for Sports Online, 98.5thesportshub.com. It's plus 10 seconds for station identification on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network. This is Buston's most listened to sports station. Buston's Home for Sports, 98.5 Sports Hub. On Beasley Media Group Station. Shop the Bruins Authentics latest memorabilia drop in honor of James Van Riemsdyk's 1,000 games. Mark your calendar for this Monday at 10 o'clock when the sweater he wore during the third period of his 1,000th game, plus other JVR game use memorabilia, will go on sale. Head to BruinsAuthentics.com to learn more. First intermission here at TD Garden. The Bruins and the Flyers are tied up at one. Let's take a look at the out-of-town NHL board. Games have gone final earlier today. Red Wings with a 4-1 victory over the Sabres in overtime. Sends over the Islanders 4-3. The Rangers pulled away from the Penguins 7-4. Coyotes... Knock off the Devils 4-1. to one. Lightning now with a 4-2 lead over the Florida Panthers at the end of two in Sunrise. Blue Jackets won Sharks nothing at the end of one in Columbus. Flames won Canadians nothing at the end of one in Calgary. Hurricanes and the Leafs are scoreless at the end of one. We'll hear from Jake DeBrusque when we return on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. Download free Nugs. Just add the Wendy's app to your phone and get an offer for a free 10-piece with purchase. Ah, yep, it's raining Nugs again. One app, all the... Ow! Wendy's. Limited time at participating Wendy's. New users only. Account registration required. Terms apply. You call that a precision stop? When a rookie stunt driver, just give me a shot, meets the trainer who thought he'd seen it all. Come on, focus. They'll soon find out that behind the wheel of the Nissan Rogue, with the power of VC Turbo and the most fuel-efficient gas-powered engine in its class. Watch this. The protege can become a master. But this is no ordinary blockbuster. It's a Nissan sales event ad. Woo! Level up your drive with a low 329 per month lease for 36 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Shop the Nissan sales event. Visit your local Nissan store and NissanUSA.com today. 
Auto Pacific segmentation excluding hybrids and electric vehicles. 2024 APA fuel economy estimates from 28 city, 34 highway to 30 city, 37 highway for 2024 Nissan Rogue. Actual mileage may vary. For well-qualified lessees, 2023 Rogue S all-wheel drive, 3569 initial payment excludes tax, title, license, and $695 acquisition fee. Disposition fee due at least send. Take from new dealer stop. Call 1-888-858-8319 for offer details. Ends 4 The Bruins are back on the ice. And this season, you can be in the stands to experience it all live. Shop a wide variety of seats for every match from Ticketmaster, the official ticketing partner of the Boston Bruins and the NHL. And make sure you don't miss a single moment. And rest assured, if your plans change, Ticketmaster has you covered so you can securely sell your seats to other fans with just a few taps. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com slash Bruins. Today, when it comes to following sports, a basic box score just won't cut it. Get the stats behind the stats with NHL Edge. So you won't just see Makar's time on ice. You'll see where he spent it. You won't just know Matthew scored. You'll know how hard he shot it. And you won't just get Ovi's shot total. You'll know where he shot it from. Even if they're all from the same place. Know more about every stat, every shift, and every star with NHL Edge. If you're looking for a good deal on Bridgestone Tires, then look no further than Town Fair Tire. Because Town Fair sells Bridgestone Tires for the guaranteed lowest price. And we give you more free services than you'll find anywhere. So stop looking for a good deal when you can go to Town Fair Tire and get the best deal on Bridgestone Tires. Because nobody beats a Town Fair Tire deal. Nobody. Hockey season means it's Peerless Boiler season. Now is the perfect time to replace your old boiler and water heater with a new Peerless Boiler and Pavilion tankless water heater. Don't wait. Act now. Go to peerlessboilers.com for a dealer near you. Remember, Peerless Boilers, the world's best-built boilers. The Celtics play here at the Sports Hub. Welcome back to the first intermission. Bruins won and the Flyers won here at TD Garden. Our first intermission interview is sponsored by TD Bank. And we're joined downstairs by Bruins winger Jake DeBrusque. Jake, how did that game time goal develop for your line? Yeah, it was just kind of a, it was a, it just got changed on the ice and uh, it was just kind of a weird. I looked up and I saw a guy changing the bench, so I just tried to get to the middle and, um, you know, I, I knew that we were kind of in the middle of a change. So just try to draw as many guys as I could to me and uh, Geeks did an old school slopper, so that was kind of cool to see. <laughs> how key were those two saves by Jeremy Swayman on Travis connecting before the goal? Yeah, huge. Obviously gives us, uh, you know, he's given us a chance. He even made some ones towards the end of the period there. Uh, we got to clean it up, obviously. Uh, you know, it's one of those things where the penalty kill you try to bend, not break. But, um, yeah, obviously gives us momentum. You know, it's, it wasn't necessarily our best uh, start. They're playing hard. It's, it's a hard-working team over there. Obviously, they're responding after the last game. So uh, we're got to expect, uh, you know, to, to bring that same compete level and uh, see how this goes. Jake, I guess with that in mind, what sort of tactical adjustments do you want to see from your team in the second? Uh, I think we just got to be better on the forecheck. I think that they, uh, you know, to be honest, we have trouble breaking the pucks out when, when we have, uh, you know, three guys going. So uh, I think that's one of the things where we just got to obviously uh, change smart, play three-quarter ice, kind of things that we always talk about throughout the year, mostly cliches. But uh, we got to get in these D. I think that's when, uh, you know, things will, will go in our favor. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks. It's only human to be passionate, loyal, and all in when it comes to the Bruins, and it's only human to expect the same from your bank. And just like every season, TD will be here for all the wins, losses, and memorable moments. TD Bank, the bank of the Boston Bruins, member FDIC, TD Bank, NA. Both teams back on the ice. We're about ready to start the second. Bruins working right to left. Yeah, a couple things to clean up. I mean, uh, you know, they had that line change that led to a penalty there over in Brandon Carlo. And I think, you know, Jake DeBrest talks about putting that puck deep. The Bruins need one more player, do they not? There it is. Um, put it is. Putting the puck deep, but Flyers do a good job of getting in the way, and, I, and I, they, they, they pick you, but they, they do it legally. Um, you know, there's a lot of leeway there that the refs, a lot of latitude that the referees will give, you know, teams and players, and they do a pretty good job of getting in the way when you try to dump that puck in, so... It's hard to get shots on goal against the Flyers as the Bruins stab the puck deep into the flyer end. Only one other team allows fewer shots per game than Philadelphia. Along the near side, it's driven ahead by York and out to center ice. The Bruins knock it down. Marchand back in his own zone. Twirls up the, le the left side. Hands to DeBrusque. DeBrusque looking back to the middle. Angled over to the near side. Marchand bumps it into the flyer's end. Rejected out to center ice. 
Now DeBrusque walks it in to the left circle. Shoots Sandstrom the save. Near corner, DeBrusque. Flipped it up top. Lindholm fires. Blocked. Boquist stabs it along the near side. And Konechny drives it out to center ice. For a minute into the second. Bruins won and the Flyers won. McAvoy stops in the slot of his own zone. Long right wing feed for Boquist. Drags it to the right hash. Flipped it back of the net. Flyers hack it along the far side, and Frost will lob it out to center ice. Couturier, the captain of the Flyers, his pass up top move doesn't it, connect. It. Numbers maybe for the Bruins, uh, but the pass from Beecher to Brazo hit him in the skates. If he moves that puck right away, I don't think he saw Brazo behind the D because the Flyers are making a line change. They turned the puck over the offensive blue line. That's a potential breakaway. Here's Brazo. He'll dish it deep into his own zone. Up the middle, Grizzly. Trying to sort it out. Both teams making some changes on the fly. Just off the bench, Pasternak, who had a couple of good looks in the first. Couldn't convert. He had two goals and an assist in the 6-2 victory that the Bruins registered just before the All-Star break in Philadelphia. Pasternak cruises in, threads it out in front. Zaka had his stick taken. Slammed along the far side, and the shot by Peak deflects over the glass. That was Palin coming back with that stick lift on the back check. Fans, Bruins Hockey is presented by Timberline Construction, providing truly exceptional service in construction management, pre-construction, design build, and due diligence support. Learn more at TimberlineConstruction.com. Timberline Construction, exceptional, no exceptions. Osternock sitting fourth in the league with 95 points. Can you name the last Bruin to register back-to-back 100-point -back seasons? Face-off, far circle in the Flyers end. Puck set toward the net, and Sandstrom dished it over to the near side. Out at center ice, peak with a bump, and the puck free to Geeky, who tied the game late in the first. Near circle of his own zone, Andrew Peak from Parkland, Florida. Left wing feed, Watherspoon out to center ice. Three blocks in that first period for Peak, and at least two of them in that sequence on the penalty kill. Peak will cruise back, get the puck in his own zone. The Flyers are changing. Peak. Wheels up the middle, 6'3", 200 pounds, he'll bank it ahead, Zaka dished it lightly down the left wing boards, apparently offside. Last Bruin to have 100, back-to-back 100-point -back seasons, back-to-back -back or two of them, 100 back-to-back. -back. Back -back. I mean, Joe Thornton would be the first one that comes to mind, if not, we'd have to go back to the 80s, and maybe Barry Peterson or it's Rick Middleton. the early 90s. Early 90s, okay. One apiece, 17 oh, left in the second, that's it, 93-94. Yep. That is the last Bruin to do it. David Pasternak last year had a career-high 113 points, which was tied for third in the league. Ronnie Addard off the faceoff, goes rink-wide to stall. It's deflected into the Bruins zone. Frederick cruises back to get it. Up the right side, the Bruins try the boards, and Heinen dished it to the middle. Grizzlick. Four on two. Frederick high slot to Grizzlick. Shoots. Tense from the save. An awkward push off left to right, but he makes the stop and covers. Yeah, it, it started with numbers, but a couple guys had to hold up at that offensive blue line. And eventually this puck gets moved over to the left wing side, and Grizzlick, who jumps up into the play, gets a pretty good shot away here. And two defensemen jumping up into the play. McAvoy was coming up as the third guy. That's two saves that he's had to make moving side to side that time left to right and squeezing make sure that puck doesn't slip by him he almost got it inside the right arm where the blocker is and snuck it between that and the midsection they saw near circle the Bruin zone or pardon me in the flyer zone coil will dig down he'll take it against Lawton DeBrusque off the draw, Sandstrom the save, and then DeBrusque followed up, and Sandstrom stopped that one. Lindholm trying to jam it free along the near side. One of the Flyers is down. And that's Konechny, and we've got to stop and play. Konechny now slowly getting to his feet. Looked like he was feeling for some blood on the well, right side of his face. I mean, if you're laying down and on, on the puck, I mean, they're going to call him. They're going to call him for delay a game. He wouldn't get off the puck, and I mean, Lindholm, or are they going to call him? No, he's just telling him to get off the ice. <laughs> A pipe down and get off the ice. <laughs> and if you're laying on the puck, I mean, that was two good chances there for DeBrusque. I mean, Lindholm was actually being kind of nice to him. You can, you can start pitchforking and 
Then that puck hopped up in the air, and there was Lawton and Lindholm battling for it, and somebody caught Konechny up. I'm not even going to say up high because he's sitting on the ice. <laughs> Face off near circle, the Flyers in. Left point, Watherspoon shoots, and that got blocked. Now he's got to scoot back, and he wins the race against Hathaway. Bruins drive it in. Sandstrom stops it, fires it up the right side and back into the Bruins zone. Watherspoon walks it out to the neutral zone. Angles left at the red line. Sizzles it in. 16 and a half left here in the second. We're tied at one. Brazo raked it to the far corner. Boquist trying to win a battle. Far side, the Flyers pry it free. Chip it ahead. Might have numbers here. Over the line, far side is Hathaway. Far circle, centered. And the aerial yeah. pass over Sanheim stick. Beecher got back to help out with Watherspoon there, making it a much more difficult pass than it would have been if it was a clear two-on-one. Bruins don't connect back of the net. Atkinson shoots and Swayman the stick save. Near side, Boquist lost the puck to Couturier, who gives it back, and the Bruins drive it up left wing and back into the neutral zone. They get one guy off the ice. Frederick hops on. Sent to the right corner of the Bruins zone. Couturier angled it out in front. Swayman played it to the far side. Frederick drives it along the near wall. Got out of the way of a Flyers hit. And it's sent up the middle and out to the neutral zone. Now Beecher's going to get off the ice. Heinen hops on. Sent just inside the Bruins line. Quick up. Frederick up to the line left side. Has a guy cutting out in front. Geeky shoots. Sends from the save. Geeky again. Shot it out in front. And getting knocked down in front. Was Heinen by Stahl, and Sandstrom able to make the stop but there. That, that puck ricocheted either off of Heinen or Stahl in front of the net, and Sandstrom had to make two really good saves right there. One on Geeky, and then that one on the deflection. Lindholm cranks it in. We've played about five minutes here in the second. One apiece. Bruins have, have had some great chances thus far in the period. Haven't converted. Geeky pounds it back of the net over to the near side. Konechny rips it. Looking for Lawton, who got behind everybody. Floats on net. He couldn't hold that pass. And the Bruins will break the other way. Carlo up the right side for Pasternak. He'll float one to the near circle in the Flyers' end. Bruins completing some changes. Along the near side, Tippett. Tippett hacked it into the near corner. Grizzlick reaches out, drove it back of the net. Far side, Pasternak. Can't get the puck out. Now the Bruins get to it. Here's Grizzlick. Wings it ahead, denied at the blue line. Zaka brings it in, shoots just wide. Pasternak had to reach back, nearly pulled a groin muscle trying to get onto the blue line. Now coming over the line, left side is Frost. His drive denied by Swayman. krizlik has got it back of his net. Feeds up the left side, Van Riemsda. He'll pop it into the left corner. Bruins making some changes in the back end. Near corner, York. Trying to get it free from Zaka. Van Riemsdijk, near hash, wings it up top, peak, shoots, deflected. Oh, he was looking for Zaka going to the net, and that puck got deflected up high. And the puck slides back into the Bruins zone. Quick changes for the Bruins, peak. Banks it ahead for Watherspoon. He'll pitch a backhand to the left corner of the Flyers' end. Boquist left to the net. Had it popped off his stick. Ryan Paling wheels out to center ice. He opened the scoring for Philadelphia. Puck dumped into the right corner, Bruins zone. Watherspoon back of the net, hits the brakes. Up the left side is Beecher. Flyers are changing. Beecher over the line. Sent it to the middle. It was behind Boquist. Far corner, Brazo. Centered. And the Flyers trying to scoop it up. Konechny couldn't get that puck to settle. It was bouncing. And now Johnson with his, the Bruins change. 13-10 left here in the second. One apiece. Johnson. The Minnesota native will flip it to the near circle of the Bruins zone. Carlo cranked it around to the far side. DeBrusk wings it to the middle. Here's Lindholm. Walked to the center circle. Bounced it off a stick and into the left corner. Martian goes to chase after it. Coil near side to DeBrusk. Centers Martian shoots and he sent it over the crossbar. He had Sandstrom diving. Left point now Lindholm. A nice dish to the middle. DeBrusk. And he fanned on his pass. It's sent up the middle, and Lindholm in a race to get it away from Konechny, and it's rimmed back of the Bruins' net. Carlo took a hit, sent it over to the far side as Delorier was bearing down on him. Near corner, Lindholm swept it up the near side. Marchand wings it through the middle. Carlo 
A right wing feed, and it's deflected back. Flyers end. Atkinson pounds it up right wing. That passing play found Marsham wide open in front as he was kind of drifting away there. He tried to go upstairs. Sandstrom was sprawling to his left. And just airmailed that puck open, over, up and over top of the crossbar. Back in the Flyers end. It's York. Stick handles. Looks. He'll fire it up the middle. Deflected into the far corner by Atkinson. Frost. Backed it over to the near side. The Flyers hustling. Ronnie Adder keeps it in. Back of the net. The Flyers snag it. Frost spins, escapes to the far hash, walks it up top, far circle now, Tippett shoots, swam in the save, and the rebound to Frederick, sent it up the middle, and Geeky pounds it out to center ice, Frederick working it, and it's Heinen who will drive it down low, and the Bruins change, 11.25 left here in the second, we're tied at one. Now McAvoy denied a pass at the blue line, and Frederick out at center ice, at its strip, Ryan Paling leaves it near side for Adder. He'll send it in front of the Flyers bench, and Forster will fire it down low. John Tortorella wants a change in his 22nd season as a head coach in the National Hockey League. Cates took a shoulder from Geeky. This puck slides to the near circle in the Flyers end. Up the right side is York. He'll wing it ahead into the far corner. Sanheim walks out in front, and Swayman challenged, and he was able to get the puck away from him. Flyers keep it in. Hathaway shoots. Blocked. Rebound out in front. Hathaway couldn't get a clean shot away. And Swayman freezes over at the far post. And now a little action. Guarded Hathaway, the former Bruin, third in the league in penalty minutes. And Reemsight has his helmet taken off. 10.36 left here in the second. One apiece, Bruins and Flyers on the 98.5, the Sports Hub Bruins radio network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. With instant alerts on apartments.com, you'll never miss out on finding your perfect place, even if it's in the middle of your best man speech. To witness two people come together has been amazing. I mean, Ashley and Jake are perfect for each other. Whoa. This place is unreal. There's natural lighting. It's spacious. Oh, I mean your love. Light is so natural and that your um, togetherness is uh, very large. Have a great life, guys. Apartments.com, the place to find a place. Look around. You can find cars like these on Auto Trader. New cars, used cars, electric cars, maybe even flying cars. Okay, no flying cars, but as soon as they get invented, they'll be on Auto Trader. Just you wait. Auto Trader. Wings are here. Oh, from No, I'd never order from anymore. Popeyes now has wings in five flavors. Ghost pepper, roasted garlic parmesan, sweet and spicy, signature hot, and honey barbecue. Marinated in Louisiana spices, hand battered and flipped. Makes no sense they're $5.99 for six pieces. Taste them. Mmm, crunchy outside. And juicy inside. Consider me a convert. That's the most romantic thing you've said to me all month. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Chicken from Popeyes. Price may vary. Back in Philadelphia, I got hooked on crack cocaine. I was sick. I was incapable of running my life. When I came back to Water Street, and Water Street captured me, and I just thank God that he delivered me. Listen live. Check out our podcast with the 98.5 The Sports Hub app. The second period face-off sponsored by Wellpoint, formerly Unicare, is teamed with Charlie Coyle, Massachusetts State and local police, the professional firefighters in Massachusetts, and Bruins Radio for face-offs for first responders to encourage first responders to ask for help when the job gets to be too much. Get started on your path to whole health now at wellpoint.unicare.com. The Bruins have 11 shots on goal. And those have been high-quality chances. A lot of them have, and then you forget that Marchand missed the net. Pasternak missed the net. Saka missed the net. I mean, they, those were three very good opportunities at two in the first period, and Marchand's just uh, a little while ago. They saw a far circle the Bruins in. Neither team has scored this period. Boyle digs down. He'll take the draw against Faraby. And the Flyers win it. Left point, the long drive will sail off a stick and over the glass. Fans, hockey season's peerless boiler season. Replace your old boiler and water heater with a new peerless boiler and pavilion tankless water heater. Find your local dealer at peerlessboilers.com and remember peerless boilers, the world's best built boilers. Face off again on the far circle. This one won by the Bruins. McAvoy 
Pounds it up right wing. And it's jammed out to center ice. The Flyers get back on side and it's ripped in by Johnson. The other departure that they've had on the blue line came at the, the trade deadline. They traded Sean Walker to Colorado for a first round pick and Ryan Johansson. Left point now, Marcian swings it into the slot. It was behind DeBrusque. And the Flyers burst the other way. Konechny hacked it into the far corner. Took a shoulder from McAvoy and that stung him. Uh, they're going to say it was an elbow, maybe. And now out in front, Sanheim wanted a piece of McAvoy. Marchand goes at Sanheim. And it's DeBrusque who dives in and wants a piece of Sanheim. Now it's Boyle, Boyle grabs Sanheim. him. Boyle has him in a headlock. Uh, the other way around. <laughs> 10.02 left here in the second. One apiece. Chris Lee, the veteran referee, looking over this. Garrett Rank, the other referee here tonight. So how are they going to sort this one out? Well, McAvoy and Konechny, you know there's going to be a collision. It's just a matter of, did McAvoy come up high on him? It's the back referee who makes the call. And we're waiting for a replay. It was hard to see in real time. It's down at the far corner. Referees are discussing whether it should be more than two, and they can review it. Now Sanheim and McAvoy having a discussion. Here we go. Boston penalty number 73 has two-minute minor penalty for a legal check to the head. Philadelphia number six and Boston number 13 each have two minutes for roughing. So Philadelphia will have a two-minute power yeah. play. Sanheim and Coyle, two minutes each for roughing. And they'll call McAvoy for an illegal check to the head. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this. I mean, the head is part of it, but you also got a lot of body. That connection, he's leaning forward. That's a pretty good hit. Did he get some of that? Yeah, but it was the body was the main point of contact, so... The principal point of contact was that shoulder. Main main point of contact. Yeah, they they it, it's he went through the body and then the head was like the the result. So the Flyers are gonna embark on the power plate for the second time tonight. I mean, he definitely got him part in the head, but I think it was after after he went through the body, right? Face off in the far circle. The Flyers have scored so, only nine power play goals all year long on the road. Two minutes, nothing more than that. That's what they give them. Flyers win the draw. Right point now. Lawton wings it high slot. Zamula. Far circle. It's Forster. The hash marks. Left of the net. You got two penalty cutters in the box. Left point now. Forster feeds left to the net. Puck wobbled on Atkinson. He'll back it off. Attacks. Spins it far side, Forster, rink wide Lawton. Hard pass, he's able to handle it, send it up top, Zamula. Zamula, center point. To Lawton, his pass deflects and the Bruins sizzle it out. Here's Marchand, looking for 400, shoots, chance from the glove save. Marchand's got it back, Marchand. Able to stick handle around a check, right of the cage. He's just gonna waste some time himself. Then he got finished in the far corner. Yeah, and now the Flyers Lott rush the other way. Him. Far circle, the Flyers get it. Zamula walks in, shoots, swam in the stop. Try to make himself big. The Bruins glove it ahead, but not out. One minute to go on the penalty kill. One apiece. Zamula feeds to the far side. Directs right point, Tippett. Fires right of the net. Now Tippett drives it wide. This puck will carry him all the way down. Sandstrom out to stop it. Just in front of the end line. Bruin short for another 39 seconds. Back of his net. It's York who will walk it ahead. Travis Sanheim would normally be out in a situation like this. Over the line right side. Tippett. Try to drive it to the middle. Intercepted, but the Bruins don't clear. Held in by York. He'll wheel to the high slot. Sends it to the far circle. Frost shoots, and this one sails wide. Right point, Farabee. Rotates it up top. Far circle to Konechny. Far corner, Konechny sent it to the near side. It hits the boards and it's held in by a hustling York. 
Farabee to the right circle, looking back door. Leaves along the near side, tip it up top. It's fired, they score! This one tipped out in front. Just as the time was coming off the clock, I think it was Farabee yeah, who got it. It was, he tipped it, he was coming right to the net. York with his eyes up, the wrist shot towards Farabee, looking for the tip all the way. And a perfect tip, just as McAvoy was stepping out of the penalty box. And the Flyers, with that goal, have taken a 2-1 lead. Seven fifty-nine left here in the second. So the Bruins behind for the second time here tonight. Right after Martian had the breakaway. Par I, what, it partial breakaway. He's been angled off. Got the good shot away from the right side there, but. Bruins send the puck on edge to the right corner in the Flyers' end. Paling has to eat the puck. Spun to the far side. Pasternak jammed it up top. And this bouncing puck deflected by Peak onto the Bruins bench. We'll take a timeout. 7.44 left here in the second. Flyers 2 and the Bruins 1 on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. With instant alerts on apartments.com, you'll never miss out on finding your perfect place, even if it's in the middle of your best man speech. To witness two people come together has been amazing. I mean, Ashley and Jake are perfect for each other. Whoa. This place is unreal. There's natural lighting. It's spacious. Oh, I mean, your love light is so natural and that your um, togetherness is uh, very large. Have a great life, guys. Apartments.com, the place to find a place. Wings are here. Oh, from No, I'd never order from anymore. Popeyes now has wings in five flavors. Ghost pepper, roasted garlic parmesan, sweet and spicy, signature hot, and honey barbecue. Marinated in Louisiana spices, hand battered and flipped. Makes no sense they're five ninety nine for six pieces. Taste them. Mmm, crunchy outside. And juicy inside. Consider me a convert. That's the most romantic thing you've said to me all month. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Price may vary. Well, I'll be a hitchhiker in an Easter Bunny costume. Hop in. Where are you headed? BJ's Wholesale Club to do my Easter shopping. I have so many baskets to fill. That costume is so lifelike. There's not even a zipper. Oh, there's BJ's. I can hop out here. Look at him go. Get a $15 digital coupon when you spend $150 on practically anything in one transaction through March 31st. Coupon will appear in your digital gallery on April 4th. Terms apply. Go to BJ's.com slash Easter coupon for details. Not a member? Join today. BJ's. Absurdly simple savings. Back in Philadelphia, I got hooked on crack cocaine. I was sick. I was incapable of running my life. When I came back to Water Street, and Water Street captured me, and I just thank God that he delivered me. The home of the Rivs, the Sports Hub. Jake DeBrus, Parker Watherspoon with the assists on Morgan Geeky's goal late in the first. First period, that's our delivery of the game, delivered by Granite City Electric GCE Night Train. Granite City Electric Supplies celebrating 100 years of service to electrical contractors in New England. Visit GraniteCityElectric.com to order. Flyers move back in front, scoring right after the power play expired at 12-01. Joel Farabee is 20th of the season. Yeah, Mac, we had just stepped out of the box, so for all intents and purposes, a power play goal for the Flyers. Flyers drive it ahead. They've got a three on two. They'll wheel it over the line far side. A little too far for Cates. Far corner Cates ran out of room. Ruins pry it free. Here's Pasternak. Dished it to the middle. Grizzlick will wait. Fires it to the slot. McAvoy up right wing. Cross ice Grizzlick. It's sent into the flyer zone. York back to get it in the far corner. Got the benefit of the pick from Sanheim as it's chipped onto the Flyers bench. And we've got a stop 7-13 left here in the second. 2-1 Philadelphia. It's a video bank of Patrice Bergeron have teamed up again this season for assists for kids. For every Boston assist, they'll donate $50 up to $37,000 to help Metro West youth hockey players pay for hockey. Get details at avidiabank.com forward slash Team Bergeron. Avidia Bank, honest to goodness. Member FDIC, member DIF. Out of the ice for Jim Montgomery, Brad Marchand, Charlie Coyle, Jake DeBrusque. Face off center circle. Lawton will take it against Coyle. 
And the Flyers win it. Pounded in by Stahl, and he changes right afterward. Batted out to the neutral zone. Here come the Bruins, three on three across. Coyle drops to Brusk. Fired it out in front, off a skate. And Marchand was in a little deep on the rebound opportunity. Brought in by the Flyers. Sent to the far circle. Puck sent out in front, on and in and out of Jeremy Swayman's glove, and Marchand's got it. He'll wheel up the left side, out to center ice. Lawton. Tried it free. Marchand gets it back. Near circle, it's Coyle. Left of the cage, back of the net. He stops to DeBrus. Shoots, saves from the save. Now Coyle back of the net. Coyle sets up. Centered. Batted out of midair by Carlo. Yeah. Zabula couldn't get it out. Carlo drove it back of the cage. Bruins Lott, making some changes. Lott got finished there right at the blue line by Jake DeBrus. And he was down for a couple of seconds. Led to a great opportunity for DeBrus point blank. Puck angled in by Atkinson, the Connecticut native. Back of the net, Swayman dished it to the far corner. Up the middle, here's Frederick. Three on two. Frederick. Four. Over the line, right side, Boquist to the slot. And Grizzly trying to shake free from a stick in transition as Atkinson stumbles, walks it in, and separated from the puck by McAvoy. Back of the net, McAvoy took a shoulder from Couturier. And the puck drilled into the slot. Grizzly indirect off the wall. Looking for Boquist. It's drilled back into the Bruins' end. Five and a half minutes remaining in the second. The Flyers with a lone goal here in the second period have taken a 2-1 lead. Bruins change. Up the middle. It's deflected into the Bruins' zone. Racing for it is Forster. The Bruins guided up the near side. Pasternak skates into it. Over the line left side. Got a trailer. And his pass to the middle blocked. And we've got to stop. We've got a hooking penalty upcoming. 5-16 left here in the second. Bruins down 2-1, and it looks like they're heading to the power play when we return on the 98.5, the Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV. That's your local New England Honda dealers. Wings are here. Oh, from No, I'd never order from anymore. Popeye's now has wings in five flavors. Ghost pepper, roasted garlic parmesan, sweet and spicy, signature hot, and honey barbecue. Marinated in Louisiana spices, hand-battered and flipped. Makes no sense they're $5.99 for six pieces. Taste them. Mmm, crunchy outside. And juicy inside. Consider me a convert. That's the most romantic thing you've said to me all month. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Price may vary. Well, well, I'll be a hitchhiker in an Easter Bunny costume. Hop in. Where are you headed? BJ's Wholesale Club to do my Easter shopping. I have so many baskets to fill. That costume is so lifelike. There's not even a zipper. Oh, there's BJ's. I can hop out here. Look at him go. Get a $15 digital coupon when you spend $150 on practically anything in one transaction through March 31st. Coupon will appear in your digital gallery on April 4th. Terms apply. Go to BJ's.com slash Easter coupon for details. Not a member? Join today. BJ's. Absurdly simple savings. Swimsuit? Check. Sunscreen? Check. Phone charger? Check. Don't forget to pack the five hour energy. It fits great in a pocket or carry on, and the alert feeling will help you arrive ready for anything. Now get 20% off when you use code 5HE Travel at 5HourEnergy.com. Expires April 30th. One time use only, not valid with other discounts. Remember, visit 5HourEnergy.com and use code 5HE Travel to save 20%. The only place to hear the game, the Sports Hub. First power play is brought to you by Bosch Tools, engineered for efficiency. He was on peak, peak. Ended up with that stick kind of. You know, he knows that that hook's coming a little bit, and he's able to draw it. Bruins win the draw. McAvoy feeds to the near side. Pasternak, top left wing circle across. McAvoy shoots, stands from the save, and he gives no rebound. With Zaka knotted up out in front. Yeah, a little change here for the Bruins. They're going to go with Zaka and Charlie Coyle. Interchangeable parts in terms of uh, whether it's the front of the net or whether it's in that bumper position. And that time, McAvoy lets the wrist shot go, try to loosen things up from the point. Gets it all the way through, looking for the tip. Zaka looking for the rebound. Off the faceoff, the Flyers have it. Bang it back and then along the near side. Hathaway will pound it up the left side and behind the Bruins net. The Flyers are a threat shorthanded as well. They lead the league with 15 shorthanded goals. Third in the league in penalty killing. Up the middle, here's Pasternak. Over the line, high slot. And it slapped off his stick. Here's Marchand. Top left wing circle fires. And Samstrom, a clean glove save.
Uh, two shots that Sandstrom's been able to see, trying to get tips on that, especially the first one by McAvoy. And Zaka in front of the net for the second one. 126 remains on the Bruins' power play. 4.42 left here in the second. 2-1 Flyers. Zaka in for the draw against Lawton. A little early movement. Everybody's going to stay in. Zaka wins it to the slot. Marchand backhand out in front. Coyley scores! Brad Marchand just sent it across that blue paint. And Coyle stuffed it home. A power play goal. Bruins 2. Flyers 2. Yeah, possession off the face-off key. So that was one of the things they said, you know, if it's going to be on the right-wing side, we got Coyle. If it's on the left-wing side, we got Zaka. Second effort by Zaka to keep this puck alive. Kind of a 50-50 puck, but he keeps it alive. Swings it over to Marchand, and Marchand on his backhand. You had a defenseman fall down there. Couldn't see who that was. That was Stahl that lost his balance and went down. He got tangled up with Konechny, and that opened up the lane. Backhand pass from Marchand. Right across the top of the crease to a wide open Charlie Coyle backdoor. What a play by Zocalo. That's a new career high in goals for Coyle. He's got 22. And given 53 points. Three away from matching his career high. And the Bruins have squared the game. So it's in essence both teams scoring goals that related to the man advantage. And we're tied at two. Puck back. Backhanded to the front of the net, and Swayman stops it, and he'll cover up. 425 left here in the second, two apiece. You know, it's the second effort by Zaka, though I love that. You know, with the, it's the, he, he partially wins the draw, but he keeps it alive by reaching for it, and then they get the benefit of Stahl and connecting, colliding there. But Marshan could easily just not have the patience to take that backhand, but he's got the, the vision to see Charlie Coyle wide open back door. Bruins fired up the right side, don't get the puck out. Far point sent down to the far corner. York up top. Snaps to Sanheim right point. Across to York high slot. Back to Sanheim right point. They one handed to the right hash. And then Frost just ran into one of the Bruins. Here's Geeky, he'll storm over the line left side of the left circle. Shoots, Sands from the save, he took it up high near the mask. And now Sanheim walks it out to center ice, he'll hack it down low. Zaka with that assist, by the way, give him points in seven consecutive games. Bruins crank the puck all the way down. We have an icing call issued here on the Bruins, and I think Chris Kelly is complaining that that was not the right call. It's another icing call, though, sponsored by Tito's Handmade Vodka. Enjoy the game of the glass of Tito's on ice. Tito's Cocktail of the Week is the Tito's all-time favorite. For tonight's recipe, go to 985thesportshub.com. They saw in the far circle of Bruins end. Bolquitz is going to take it against Couturier. Couturier wins it. Off the draw, the shot fired. Oh, I think that hit Delorier, and that stung him. He's going to limp off the ice. Bruins make some changes as it's ripped. Up right wing and back into the Bruins zone. Faraby, who briefly put the Flyers back in front. Lost it. The Bruins will walk it ahead. Boquist taps it for Beecher. He'll direct it over the line, trying to get around Johnson. It's every time. Puck sent out. Johnson just rode him right to the middle of the ice. Far circle, it's Beecher. Up top, Peak shoots. He sailed that high and wide. That one was a little closer to interference than some of the other ones. Some of the other ones have been good. They have layers. you got to go through two guys to get to you know where that puck is. He didn't step up. He stepped across yes. a couple of steps to deny that opportunity. It's not interference, but it's close. Far side, Cates in the Bruins zone. Spins up top in the Bruins zone. Feeds to the far side, Konechny. Closed on by Beecher. Pinned against the wall. Beecher trying to muscle it free. Left point, a little room for York. Walking the line, left point. Lawton shoots. And that one just over the right shoulder of Swayman. Two and a half minutes remaining here in the second. Puck fired by Konechny, and that one might have changed directions. It did. At the end board, scooped up by Cates. Cates back of the net. Cates to the far side, banked it up top. York walking the line, feeds to the far side. Cates shoots, and Swayman takes it in. And 
Out in front, Peak goes nose to nose with Garnet Hathaway. York now John away with Beecher. 2.15 left here in the second, two apiece. Face off. Going to be in the far circle of Bruins zone. Both teams very slow to get their five man units out of the ice. Well, it's up to the Flyers to get theirs out there first before the Bruins figure out who they want to match up. John Tortorella disgusted with something. <laughs> this is his <laughs> first game tell? back <laughs> after a two game suspension. Yeah, he's fairly easy to read. He got suspended two games and fined $50,000 for what the, the National Hockey League called unprofessional conduct directed at officials by refusing to leave the bench area after being assessed a game misconduct. He's been fined 13 times in excess of 200 grand during his coaching career. Well, that's why he's coached for 20, 22 years. <laughs> got to pay the debt. <laughs> Flyers bring the puck in. Hathaway couldn't hold on to it. Grizzly swoops behind his net. Two minutes to go here in the second. This is his second year in Philadelphia. Up the right side, Pasternak. James Van Riemsdyk told a great story about him this morning. If we get a chance, maybe we'll relay that. Near side, Pasternak jammed free, and Palin couldn't hold on to it. Hathaway slapped it in. Near circle, it's Cates. Drives a backhand of the far corner, Frost. Shot it back in the net, scooped up by Zaka. He'll pound it indirect off the wall, and it's kicked off a skate into the Flyers end with 90 seconds left here in the second. Bruins try to deny the blue line, walking in. Frost pulls, drags, couldn't get a shot away as Grizzlick stayed with it. Frost still has yeah, it, his backhand out in front. Desperation by Grizzlick, but he was effective. Shot at the right point. Bruins block it in the slot, having a little problem breaking out of their own zone. Now McAvoy chiseled it ahead. Took a check after able he to did. Get off the ice though. Far side Van Reemsight trying to kick the puck free. It squirts to the middle. McAvoy a dish up the middle. And the Flyers have it. Here's Sanheim. He'll whisk it down low. Swayman reads it, stops it, fires it along the near side. And yeah, it he changed his mind twice Marchand. there. Makes the right play though. Marchand paddles it deep with 40 seconds left here in the period. Coil a good read. Stops it at the right point. Drives it high off the back glass. Marchand to the near corner to Brusk. Rotates to the near hash. Sent it back to the net. Coil. Trying to shake free from Lawton. Far hash. It's Coil. Coil up top. Coil. Works right of the net. Send it off the side of the cage. And Sandstrom the save. And he holds. With 20 uh, seconds left in the second. A little stutter step there by Coil. Trying to shake Lawton. Ended up being a sharp angled shot. But that line, I mean... You know, Marchand's been affected. DeBrusque has been flying all night. He's had two really good periods. Bruins with 14 shots in this period alone. They saw in the right circle of Flyers end. Coil from Marchand and Zaka tied the game at 15-22. Flyers win the draw. Batted back of the net. A high stick. DeBrusque just took a high stick. I don't see an arm in the air. No, there isn't a Puck deflected into the near corner in the Bruins' end. McAvoy drives it around to the far side. Coyle makes sure this puck finds neutral ice. Sanheim stops it with his gloves near point in his own end. Driven against the wall by DeBrus. Marchand and Hathaway going at it. And they're still John away. And then Cates behind the play with DeBrusque. And then York comes in to take a shot at DeBrusque. Pulled out of there by McAvoy. Coyle's locked up with one of the Flyers. And now everybody milling around in the neutral zone, but everybody's starting to separate. Each team with a goal in that second period at the end of two, it's the Bruins two and the Flyers two. Here's and I will bring you back for the second intermission in just a moment on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. Wings are here. Oh, from No, I'd never order from anymore. Popeyes now has wings in five flavors. 
ghost pepper, roasted garlic parmesan, sweet and spicy, signature hot, and honey barbecue. Marinated in Louisiana spices, hand battered and flipped. Makes no sense they're $5.99 for six pieces. Taste them. Mmm, crunchy outside. And juicy inside. Consider me a convert. That's the most romantic thing you've said to me all month. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Price may vary. Well, I'll be a hitchhiker in an Easter Bunny costume. Hop in. Where are you headed? BJ's Wholesale Club to do my Easter shopping. I have so many baskets to fill. That costume is so lifelike. There's not even a zipper. Oh, there's BJ's. I can hop out here. Look at him go. Get a $15 digital coupon when you spend $150 on practically anything in one transaction through March 31st. Coupon will appear in your digital gallery on April 4th. Terms apply. Go to BJ's.com slash Easter coupon for details. Not a member? Join today. BJ's. Absurdly simple savings. Snap, text, save partners with local appliance retailers to help you beat online and big box pricing on appliances. First, snap a photo or screenshot of the appliance model number and price you're looking at. Then, text it to us at 617-600-SAVE and include your delivery zip code. Within minutes, we'll text you back with a guaranteed lower quote and the earliest delivery date. Snap, text, save. New England's easiest way to get the best pricing on appliances. Text us today at 617-600-SAVE. Mitchell College is a place of radical possibilities. Uncover your unique power and study what is most important, you. From starting or finishing a degree to career upskilling, or learn how you learn best, our compassionate approach embraces every side of you. Mitchell's inclusive community offers personalized study with pre- and post-college support, so you can be the best, authentic you. Learn more at mitchell.edu. That's mitchell.edu. At UMass Memorial Health, you can be a nurse, mental health clinician, medical assistant, but you you can also be a after hours musician, family chef, t-ball coach. That's because we hire you, all of you, and treat you like a person, not a position, with great pay and excellent benefits like retirement savings plans and tuition assistance. Come be you at UMass Memorial Health. Explore all we offer at wehireyou.org. Back in Philadelphia, I got hooked on crack cocaine. I was sick. I was incapable of running my life. I came back to Water Street, and Water Street captured me. And I just thank God that he delivered me. Now, Marshall Building and Remodeling, we're changing the way homeowners think about roofing, siding, and window projects. It doesn't have to be stressful or take weeks of your time. Our process is efficient and stress-free every step of the way. It starts with a free consultation where we discover the best options for your home and budget together. We want to talk with you, not at you. And most of all, we want to listen. At Marshall, we know every roofing, siding, and window project is unique, so we work hard to never lose sight of your vision. It's your project, your terms. Why settle for less? Felger and Naz, afternoons 2-6 to six on the Sports Hub. Zaka wins it to the slot. Marshan backhand out in front. Coyle, he scores! And just sent it across that blue paint and Coyle stuffed it home. A power play goal. Bruins two, fires two. That's our Bruins exceptional play presented by Timberline Construction, providing truly exceptional service in construction management, pre construction, design build, and due diligence support. Learn more at TimberlineConstruction.com. Timberline Construction, exceptional, no exceptions. We've hit the second intermission here at TD Garden. The Bruins and the Flyers in a testy game are tied up at two. Here's where the Bruins had some quality looks, especially early in that second period. Finally cash in on the power play late in the period. They've had a number of good looks in this game. Um, they misfired a couple times as well. I mean, Marchand had a you know top half of the net. Uh, Puck might have gone up on edge on him as he was kind of fading away there uh, on a little breakdown by the Flyers and a nice feed by DeBrusque. You know, he had... Uh, Zaka had one sail one over the net, and he had a posture who's been a little quiet here today, especially against a Flyers team that he's had so much success against throughout his career. Uh, he ripped one wide in the first period uh, on a good setup from Zaka. But, yeah, I mean, marshan has got a partial breakaway shorthand, and next thing you know, the puck's in the back of your net down the other way, and that, that was uh, right at the tail end. We, we, it, it, I believe it was an even-strength goal. It went down as an even-strength goal. Is that right, Judd? Because mm -hmm. uh, McAvoy was just coming out of the penalty box um, they did give an even strength goal there for, for Farabee going to the net on the tip. 
but it's been a fairly evenly played game. Uh, I, I think by both teams, both teams finishing hits. It's you know grinding along the wall. Uh, it seems like both teams have their legs. Um, you know, maybe not to the best of their ability, but pretty close. It's been uh, it's been a contested game. Let's put it that way. And it's uh, you would expect that from a Flyers team that a is fighting for a playoff spot, even though they're in one right now, third place in the Metro Division. But a lot of teams closing in on them here recently. And B, they just got blown out by the Toronto Maple Leafs. And if you have, want to add another one in, they got their head coach back behind the bench after missing the last two games. And if you take on the personality of your coach in some ways, and you know, they're, get, they're playing in your face. I mean, Hathaway's playing his game. He's in your face. This is the way we, we hated him before he came a Bruin last year, right? I mean, um, but hard to play against. He's had a good game. He had an assist in the first period on the goal uh, by Paling. So he's not alone. I mean, other guys doing the same thing. It's It's... You like this kind of thing. You had a big hit by McAvoy on, on Konechny. Sandheim took exception to it. Uh, there was a two-minute penalty to McAvoy, but it's it's been that kind of game. I you know you enjoy these types of games and you get up for them and and you got to know that the Flyers are that urgency is going to be there for them. It was one-one at the end of one. Jake DeBrusk had told us that the Bruins still needed to clean up some of their game in the second period. How, how good a job did they do? Yeah, pretty good. I mean, it, it's pretty well. It, you get stuck in your own zone once in a while and if you don't if you don't manage the puck correctly whether it's coming up the ice or whether it's you know in your own end it's now you're on those long shifts you know how that goes and that's uh that's going to happen from time to time uh, and then you've got to just weather it and you know that's what i mean that's what good teams are able to do you keep things to the outside you're not able to close as quickly as you'd like because your legs just aren't there so you you keep everything to the outside or try to that's the concept and you make sure you can test the shots that are taken and make sure that it's just one and done. They're not getting those rebound opportunities as well. Jake DeBrusque is flying tonight. He's, he's had a really good game. He's He's been on top of his game for a little while here. And, you know, right from the first shift of the game, he was flying. And, you know, you, you, you can identify guys that look like they're they're on it. You know, they've, they've got it. And uh, it, there's he's not alone. There's a few of them. But he's probably got the most ice time out of the guys that I see that are flying here. Zaka's another one, though, you know. Um, you know, they're hoping to get Pasternak maybe going just a little bit more here in this third period. Looked like he was a little frustrated a couple times in that second period. Puck's kind of hopping over his stick, not quite handling it uh, as cleanly as he would like. Uh, that's just from where we sit and maybe, you know, trying to detect some of the body language. If that's the case, I'm not sure. But um, it certainly looked that way from, from here. Who would have expected Morgan Geeky would have 16 goals and you've still got a handful of games left? He's got a reasonable chance of 20. Well, you got two guys now that, I mean, he he broke through his uh, career high a while ago. Uh, and then Coyle it gets his career high with 22, um, his 22nd of the season. But that was an old school bomb, right? The back scratcher slap <laughs> shot coming down the right wing, right? That, that was, And he ripped that puck. I couldn't tell if it ramped up off the defenseman's stick or not. But, I mean... He's got his spot. He scored a couple of goals from that right wing off the rush this season. And uh, that, that was a bomb up over the blocker side. Scoring summary. In the first, it was Paling who got it started for the Flyers at 418. His ninth, Morgan Geeky tied it at 1551 with his 16th from Jake DeBrusque and Parker Watherspoon. In the second, Joel Faraby with a tip right as a Flyers power play was expiring. His 20th from Cam York and Owen Tippett. But then Coyle... Connects on the man advantage. A new career high, his 22nd goal at 15-22 from Brad Marchand and Pavel Zaka. Shots on goal at the end of two periods in favor of the Bruins, 20-18. The Bruins with 15 shots in that second period. On the power play, the Bruins 1-for-1 one one and the Flyers 0-for-2. Music of the game is brought to you by Live Nation. Oh, One of this generation's premier rock bands, Cage the Elephant, returns to the Xfinity Center on August 22nd. Get tickets now at LiveNation.com. Beersy's going to update the out-of-town NHL board in just a moment. On the 98.5, the Sports Hub Bruins radio network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. Wings are here. Oh, from No, I'd never order from anymore. Popeye's now has wings in five flavors. Ghost pepper, roasted garlic parmesan, sweet and spicy, signature hot, and honey barbecue. Marinated in Louisiana spices, hand-battered and flipped. Makes no sense they're $5.99 for six pieces. Taste them. Mmm, crunchy outside. And juicy inside. Consider me a convert. That's the most romantic thing you've said to me all month. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Price may vary. 
Event Ticket Center. The roar of the crowd, the thrill of the game, the beat of the drum, letting you know that you're alive. Event Ticket Center. We live for live events, concerts, theater, sports, and family fun. We have your tickets at eventticketcenter.com. Convenience you can count on. Just use promo code LOVELIVE24 for 10% off your next purchase of $150 or more. Get your tickets today at eventticketcenter.com. Well, I'll be a hitchhiker in an Easter Bunny costume. Hop in. Where are you headed? BJ's Wholesale Club to do my Easter shopping. I have so many baskets to fill. That costume is so lifelike. There's not even a zipper. Oh, there's BJ's. I can hop out here. Look at him go. Get a $15 digital coupon when you spend $150 on practically anything in one transaction through March 31st. Coupon will appear in your digital gallery on April 4th. Terms apply. Go to BJ's.com slash Easter coupon for details. Not a member? Join today. BJ's. Absurdly simple savings. Backstagecountry.com. Your online home for all things country music. <laughs> Wondering who made our list of the top five all-time queens of country music? Did Carrie Underwood make the cut? Find out now when you text Queens to 45911 and scroll through the list on BackstageCountry.com. Text Queens to 45911 to see the talented artists who rounded out our top five list. The home of the bees, the sports hub. Back here at the TD Garden, after two periods of play, the Flyers and the Bruins are knotted up at two. We take a look around the NHL. Busy day in the NHL today. Red Wings finally break their losing streak. 4-1 winners over the Buffalo Sabres. Ottawa Senators, 4-3 winners over the New York Islanders. That game was decided in overtime. Kachuk the hat trick, his 30th of the season. Rangers, 7-4 over the Penguins. It was Arizona taking down New Jersey, 4-1. Tampa Bay Lightning, 5-3 over the Panthers. Columbus has a 3-1 lead over the San Jose Sharks. That game's in the third period. Other games around the NHL. Calgary 3, Montreal 2. That game's at the end of 2. Also at the end of 2, Toronto with a 3-2 lead over the Carolina Hurricanes. End of one period. It's Dallas 3 and Los Angeles nothing. In the second period, St. Louis and Minnesota are scoreless. Later on tonight, it'll be Edmonton playing host to Colorado. Nashville will be in Seattle to take on the Kraken and Vancouver. Uh, and the Washington Capitals go at it at 10 o'clock here tonight. Here at the TD Garden, Bruins 2, Flyers 2 after two periods of play. We'll be back with all the third period action next on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealer. Meet the Bedroom Suite by Thuma, the foundation for the perfect staycation. Time spent at home is the ultimate luxury, and Thuma makes it easy to stay in with lifestyle-enhancing pieces like the bed, the dresser, and the nightstand. To get $25 towards the bed, go to Thuma.co. That's T-H-U-M-A dot C-O to receive $25 off your purchase of the bed. Shop the bed at Precision, stop. When a rookie stunt driver, just give me a shot, meets the trainer who thought he'd seen it all. Come on, focus. They'll soon find out that behind the wheel of the Nissan Rogue, with the power of VC Turbo and the most fuel-efficient gas-powered engine in its class, watch this. The protege can become a master. But this is no ordinary blockbuster. It's a Nissan sales event ad. Level up your drive with a low 329 per month lease for 36 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Shop the Nissan sales event. Visit your local Nissan store and NissanUSA.com today. Auto Pacific segmentation excluding hybrids and electric vehicles. 2024 APA fuel economy estimates from 28 city, 34 highway to 30 city, 37 highway for 2024 Nissan Rogue. Actual mileage may vary. For well-qualified lessees, 2023 Rogue S all-wheel drive, 3569 initial payment excludes tax, title, license, and $695 acquisition fee. Disposition fee to at least send. Take from new dealer stop. Call 1-888-858-8319 for offer details. Ends 4 It's hockey night at the rink. This game might just be a burn burn. It's time to raise up your flags. Put your jerseys on. Cheer, shout, and save on your gas. That's right. 
Boston Bruins fans save big on home game days. Save 25 cents per gallon on Shell V-Power Nitro Plus Premium Gasoline with the Fuel Rewards Program. Oh yeah, that slap shot savings for you all. Download the app, join the Fuel Rewards Program today, and game on. If you need tires, think Town Fair Tire. Thinking name brands? We have them all. Thinking price? We beat the competitors. Free services? We have those too. For the guaranteed lowest price, nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Town Fair Tire. Bosch tools are built for workers. Bosch's powerful hammer drill has kickback control to help work go more smoothly when you need it. The two-in-one impact driver and wrench quickly changes between bits and sockets, so you only need one tool instead of two. And the X-Lock grinder switches wheels up to five times faster than standard grinders. Bosch tools take care of the job and you. Bosch tools, what hard workers deserve. Learn more at BoschTools.com. When winter comes to Boston, Seasons Heatings come right along with it. You can hear them sizzling in kitchens citywide. Taste it in every kind of spice. And see it in the steam of our soups and sake. You'll find it tucked snugly under your high thread count covers. In the charm of our neighborhoods. And of course, crackling in the fireplaces of bars, taverns, and hotel lobbies alike. Yep, when winter comes to Boston, things heat up in a hurry. Book your trip at meetboston.com. Today, when it comes to following sports, a basic box score just won't cut it. Get the stats behind the stats with NHL Edge. So you won't just see McCarr's time on ice. You'll see where he spent it. You won't just know Matthew's score. You'll know how hard he shot it. And you won't just get Ovi's shot total. You'll know where he shot it from. Even if they're all from the same place. Know more about every stat, every shift, and every star with NHL Edge. Connect with Boston's home for sports online, 985thesportshub.com. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins radio network. Boston, this is Boston's most listened to sports station. Boston's home for sports, 98.5 Sports Hub. On easily media group station. Now it's time to look back at 100 years of Boston Bruins hockey. Presented by Granite City Electric. Back to Busek. Sanfield, shot. Up front, go! Johnny Busek for the Bruins on some great passing. That's Don Earl on the call back on this date in 1971. Johnny Busek became just the fifth player in NHL history to score 50 goals in a season when he knocks number 50 against the Red Wings' Roy Edwards in an 11-4 Bruins victory in Detroit. Busick finished second that season in goals to teammate Phil Esposito, who recorded 76 that year. Busick, by the way, scored 556 goals during his 23-year career. The 71 season was the only time he hit the 50 mark. That look back at 100 years of Bruins hockey was presented by Granite City Electric Supply, celebrating 100 years of service to electrical contractors and our communities throughout New England. Go to GraniteCityElectric.com. Both teams back on the ice. We're about ready to start the third period. Bruins two, Flyers two. The Bruins were in a similar situation two nights ago in Montreal. They came up victorious in overtime. They are 8-0-4 when they take a, a tie game into the third period. The Flyers, they've been in the spot a ton, 12-5-1 when they're wow. tied at the end of two. Pretty good record. Bruins working left to right. Bruins have not led in the game. The Flyers scored first and then jumped in front again in the second period after the Bruins had squared the game late in the first. We got some matching penalties to start this period. DeBrusque and York in the box, so it's four on four. Here's Grizzly. Walks it up on the line, far side. McAvoy, he'll sweep it deep over to the near side. He has one of his nine goals this year against Philadelphia. Out at center ice, Cates. Had it stripped by McAvoy. Grizzly fades back into his own end. Flyers will start to change. McAvoy to the center circle over the red line. Walks it across, leaves high slot. Zaka. Up top, Grizzlick, a little room, shoots wide. Pasternak had to duck out of the way. Pasternak back of the net. Pasternak, right hash marks. It's McAvoy, backs it up. Across, Zaka into the high slot. 
And he had to navigate around Ronnie Adder, and the puck came out. Prosternock brings it in. Wanted to tee one up, got poke check, gets it back. High slot Posternak. Snapped it up top peak. Now to Linholm. Banks it to Posternak. Kicks to the stick. Just out of the ice is Coyle. Coyle knifes to the far circle. Out in front, shoots. He scores! Charlie Coyle with a dangle, and then he goes top shelf. 3 2 Bruins. Uh, just hopping on the ice after the Zaka goes to the bench. And we talked about some picks that the Flyers have thrown. That was a little pick there, it looked like by Lindholm, that helped free up Coyle, who just comes off the bench. He's going to get this pass from Pasternak over in the left wing side. Coyle makes a good dart right towards the net. Well, not a lot of pick, just kind of getting in the way of connecting. And he went to that backhand, forehand, as he came into the left wing circle, started to attack the net, goes forehand, top shelf. Over Sandstrom. That looked like short side, didn't it? You get a better look here on this uh, replay. Yep, short side high, right past the right shoulder. He's got the last two. And give him 23 for the season of the Bruins with their first lead, and they strike early in the period with the two teams four on four. Johnson twirls back in his own end. He'll circle behind his net. Watched by Marchand up the near side, Zamula. Hands ahead to Frost. Walks it across, wheels to the slot, lost the puck. And now Lindholm up the right side. He'll scoots to the center circle, crisscrosses over the line left side. Far circle, his shot, deflects over to the near side. Martian's at the right point. He'll carry to the center circle. And it's pounded back into the Bruins' end. McAvoy's got it. Ten seconds left on the matching penalties to DeBrusque. And Cam York. Back of his net, Sanheim pounds it to the yeah. far corner, nearly mishandled. And out at center ice, here's Forster, left wing, York just out of the box. Checked by DeBrus, back of the net, Grizzly had it, lost it, Couturier tried to center, comes back to him. Couturier wings it into the slot, Forster fanned. Near corner, York, took a bump from Pasternak, poked over to the near side, Couturier down low, watched by Zaka, swept it up to the right point. Long shot coming in. Bruins kick it to the high slot, held in by Couturier. He'll wing it around the boards. Hit a partition, the Bruins slam it ahead. Here's Frederick with a step. Gets around Cates, who had just jumped on. Frederick Farhash holds. Tries to one-handed to Geeky. Heinen, left point. Driven left to the net by Lindholm. Knocked out of midair by Geeky. Sent it out in front. Sandstrom a paddle save. Lindholm shoots. Back of the net it goes. Frederick leans in. And the Flyers fired up the near side. And scrambling out is Tippett. Angles over the line right side. Shoots. And he sent it over the crossbar. Near corner Carlo took a hit from Tippett. Back of the net Lindholm. He'll rim it. And out to center ice it comes. The Flyers trying to send it back in. I think this hits somebody on the Bruins bench hopping over the boards. And we've got to stop. Fans, Catches Law, the official law firm of the Boston Bruins, has won over $2 billion for their clients. When you're injured and can't work, turn to Catches Law. There's no fee unless you win. Go to CatchesLaw.com to schedule your free consultation today. Coyle's 23rd from Pasternak and Lindholm at 108 as the Bruins in front for the first time. And Pasternak with that assist now with 96 points. Face off center circle, one definitively by Beecher. This will carry him into the far corner Bruins zone. I'm going to check and see if Panarin caught him today. Panarin had a five point game. Some of the top guys in the league lighten it up here with points. <laughs> up the right side, Brazo. I thought I read a stat that Panarin's had more 90 point seasons than any Ranger in history. Wow. Boquist up the line right side. Twists of the near point. Now hands to Peak. Centered out in front. Sandstrom, they score! It's Johnny Beecher! The pass out in front, stopped initially by Sandstrom. Beecher stays with it, and he jams it home for two Bruins. That's an answer for you, right? This line has been pretty good. They had a couple chances early on. Boquist, Brazo, Beecher. Talk about Beecher and the way that he played last game. Boquist is going to drop this puck off for Peak. Peak's going to center it. What a save Sandstrom makes initially off of Beecher, and Beecher stays with it and chips it home. 
So Peak first point is a Bruins. And Beecher on his own rebound after Sandstrom makes a strong save going to his right. Actually, I take it back. He hit the post with the first shot. He just got a better angle at it. Did Rosso push that puck home before it crossed the goal line? Tough to tell. It was fluttering <laughs> in the air. We're getting another look. I don't know. It's close. I don't know who they're going to give this goal to. Beecher was taking it, but <laughs> Brasso reached in there, too. There will be a rookie with that goal. Near circle. DeBrusque walks in, shoots, he scores! The Bruins have exploded here early in the third. DeBrusque all alone, bottom of the right wing circle, was able to stick handle Sandstrom down and then fired it just inside the near post. 5 2 Bruins. Well, another emphatic answer for the Bruins. Attacking right away. Yes, Sandstrom is under. This, this puck gets by Konechny. Goes over to DeBrusque on that right side. And he's going to walk in. He's got stalled down on his knees. He's got Sandstrom kind of flailing away. There's Lindemann who kept it in. And this pass gets over. Brad breakdown by the Flyers. This pass gets over to DeBrusque. It's from Coyle. He holds on to it. Gets Sandstrom down on his chest and tucks this puck in on the short side I think we got a timeout here so the Bruins getting goals at 108 345 and 404 Coyle got it started right now Johnny Beecher with his six from Peak and Boquist, as Beers alluded to, his first point in two games since coming to the Bruins. Jake DeBrusque is 17th. He's got goals in back-to-back -back games. That goal coming at 4:04, and the Flyers are staggered. Frederick in for the draw. And I know the league has changed, but keep your head up. York. Backhands the puck to the near corner, Watherspoon. Tied up, back of the net, Frederick. Took a check from Hathaway. Up top it comes, here's Sanheim walking the line. Shoots, blocked, and the Bruins with numbers yeah. again. Here's Heinen. He's got a broken stick. He's got to drop it. Yeah. Over the line, right side, it's York. Take it off the puck, they're and gonna, I think we've got to stop. They're going to call Heinen. you, you, you got to drop it right away. He tried. He didn't play the puck with his stick, but he had it in his hands. He's got to drop it right away as soon as it breaks. But he still got the stick. Maybe it didn't break. Did anybody check that? Well, he would have yeah, had, yeah, had a clear cut two on one if it didn't break. He's got to drop it right away. Try to play with his skate. He's still got the stick in his hands. Then he drops it as he's going to the bench. There we go. So now the Flyers a chance to get back into the game, maybe seize a little momentum or stop some of the momentum from the Bruins. The Flyers were not officially credited with a power play goal in the second period, but it came just as a McAvoy minor expired. Here's Konechny, top left wing circle. Shoots and Swayman reaches out and yeah, gloves yeah. that calmly. Yeah, McAvoy and Coyle in the box. Remember, Coyle was serving the, the minor there for um, coincidental minors, him and Sanheim. They saw near circle in the Bruins end. Frost wins it. York, rink wide, tip it. Snaps it to York along the near side. Connect me. Bruins up 5 2 here. They've scored three times early in the third period. Right point, it's York. Walks to the middle. Feeds to the near side. Now to the circle, it's Connect me. Drifts to the near corner. Looking back door. They'll walk it up top. Gets a return feed. Top left wing circle. Konechny shoots. Swayman the save. And that puck was loose for a second underneath him. Then he freezes as the Bruins put a fence in front of him. Judd, we talked about the Flyers' schedule and how difficult it is, right? They, lo they lost to Toronto the other day. Boston, of course, today. Then they play Toronto again. Then Carolina. Bruins again next Saturday. Florida Panthers. New York Rangers. 
This is just this is a, a, a just a critical part of their schedule if they want to stay in the playoffs, and they're in it right now. And they have struggled against the Eastern Conference. They are two games under 500 against the East, where they've done their damage. They're 11 games over 500 against the West. Far hash now. Tippett shoots right of the net, and Faraby carries it. Set it to the far side. Tippett, Bruins short another minute 10. Leading 5-2 here, early third. Tippett, wings far side. Frost having a problem corralling the puck. Far wall, stick handle, snapped it up top. York, head fake. Fading back is Tippett, high slot York. Connect these one-timer. He fanned onto the Bruins, don't get it out. Near side, flip to the near corner. Faraby, chip back of the net, Frost. Frost rotates to the right circle. Frost. Walks by Zaka to the high slot, left circle, leaves near side, Konechny, near circle, Konechny, left of the cage, and now behind the net is Frost, feeds to Konechny near circle, up top, York, right circle, Tippett, across, Konechny near circle, shoots, swam a blocker save, rebound, sent up to the near point, York kept it in, took a bump from Beecher after he did, high slot, it's fired just by the glove hand of Swayman. And the Bruins can't get the puck out. High slot, it's Tippett. Lost it. And the Bruins jam, jam it up right wing and all the way down. Five seconds yeah, left in the Heinen penalty. York surprised Zaka there by coming all the way down. Zaka thought he had plenty of time. Bruins back to full strength. Heinen hops on as it's ripped into the right corner Bruins zone. 13-23 left here in the third. 5-2 Bruins. Far side now, Marshan up. Left wing out at center ice. Chris crosses, brings it in. Drifts to the left point. Heinen back to Marshan. Shoots just wide off of Coyle's look, skate. Looking for Coyle for the back door. Hat trick. He picked up his first career hat trick earlier this season. Back of the net, Swayman directs it along the near side. Now Marshan flipped it to the middle. Here's Brislick. Hard right wing feed. Marshan, oh, he almost had a step by Sanheim. Sanheim reached back. And snag that puck. Now Lawton bumped it up top. Santa just down to the ice is Faraby. He's got a goal tonight. Shoots. Swayman the glove save. And then the puck hopped on him. It's still free. And then Swayman traps it over at the far post. Little action out in front. Hathaway with a shot on Watherspoon who responds with one right to his chest. We'll take a timeout. 12.38 left here in the third. Bruins five. And the Flyers two. On the 98.5, the Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. The Jeep Celebration event is going on right now with exceptional offers on a wide selection of Jeep brand vehicles. If you're looking to supercharge your next adventure, look no further than America's best-selling plug-in hybrid, the Jeep Wrangler 4xe. Or choose the luxurious Grand Cherokee or Grand Cherokee 4xe. All celebrations must come to an end, so hurry and visit Jeep.com or your local Jeep brand dealer for great deals during the Jeep Celebration event. Based on 2022 CYQ4 sales, J.D. Power retail sales data, Jeep is a registered trademark. Well, I'll be a hitchhiker in an Easter Bunny costume. Hop in. Where are you headed? BJ's Wholesale Club to do my Easter shopping. I have so many baskets to fill. That costume is so lifelike. There's not even a zipper. Oh, there's BJ's. I can hop out here. Look at him go. Get a $15 digital coupon when you spend $150 on practically anything in one transaction through March 31st. Coupon will appear in your digital gallery on April 4th. Terms apply. Go to BJ's.com slash Easter coupon for details. Not a member? Join today. BJ's. Absurdly simple savings. Backstagecountry.com. Your online home for all things country music. <laughs> Award-winning movies often have incredible soundtracks, and many of those have gone on to become country gold. We've picked our top five country songs that have been nominated for an Oscar. Text OSCAR to 45911 to see if your favorite made the list on BackstageCountry.com. Text OSCAR to 45911, and we'll send the link straight to your phone. Celtics play here at the Sports Hub. Brad Marchand, Hampus Lindholm with the assist on the Bruins. Last goal scored by Jake DeBrusque, his 17th. And with those feeds, the Shaw's and Star Market Foundation donates another $200 to the Greater Boston Food Bank to help fight food insecurity. Learn more about feeding the puck for families at 985thesportshub.com slash feed the puck. Face off in the right circle, the Bruins end. 12.38 left here in the third. 
Bruins are going to see the Ottawa Senators here on Tuesday for only the second time this season. Duncan pregame at 6.30, faceoff at 7 o'clock. And then it'll be the Rangers on Thursday for the Bruins. Head to Philadelphia for its Saturday afternoon game against the Flyers. Bruins fire the puck up to the right point, held in by Sanheim. Sent to the far circle, batted to the far side. Up top it comes, Sanheim, left point, York. Shoots off the end boards, Faraby. Cycle it to the far side. Now up top is Frost. Chips to the near side. Konechny, a wild one-timer that sails into the far corner. Held in by the Flyers. Right circle, it's Konechny. Wings into the slot. Off Frost's leg, and the Bruins will carry it the that other way. Defended pretty well by the Bruins. A lot of switches, you know, handoffs, communication. Everything to the outside. Konechny's one-timer from the left wing side was well wide. Feathered in by Frederick, grabbed by Sandstrom, will have a face-off in the flyer end. It's Bruins Hockey is brought to you by Removal Pro of New England. If your home or office needs an oil tank removed or installed, call the experts at Removal Pro at 740-TANK-PRO. If it's big and heavy and it's got to go, call Removal Pro at 740-TANK-PRO. Online at oilremovalpro.com. Bruins have scored three times on four shots here in the second period, in the third period. Faceoff in the right circle of flyer end. Here's Pasternak. Right corner. Hits the brakes. Near side. Looks to the middle. Centered. He was looking back door. That was the spot where Beecher was, but Zaka. The pass didn't reach him. Far side in the Bruins zone. Addered. Rolled it behind the Bruins net. Grizzlick had his pocket pick. Sent out in front. And nearly tucked in by Atkinson. As Swayman left a little daylight. Light on the near post. Flyers are going to change. Here's McAvoy up the right side. Head up. He'll wheel his way to the middle. Angling left at the red line. Tosses a backhand deep. Pasternak back of the net. Pasternak near side. Shoots. Sent to the far point. Now Watherspoon dusts it off. Wings it down low. Back of the net. Muscled by Zaka up top. Peak fires off the end boards. Back of the net, Brazo. Centered off a skate. Here's Boquist. He'll drive up to the left point and then fire it back of the net, Brazo. Brazo protects right of the net. Looks. York can't get the puck from him. Brazo swings it up top. Watherspoon settles it. Rink wide, Peak shoots. Block comes right back to Peak. Near side, not of the right point, Beecher, who's got one of the three for the Bruins this period. Back of the net, Brazo trying to swipe it from York. Watherspoon dives down. He's got support. Far hash, it's Boquist up top. Watherspoon shoots just wide of the far post. Rebound, Peak diving down, and he bounces his shot toward the net. That is gloved by Sandstrom. Yeah, nothing ended up getting to the net, but a pretty good shift in the offensive zone that time, protecting the puck and making the Flyers work defensively. And 16 left here in the third. Bruins five, Flyers two. Face off in the right circle of Philadelphia end. Flyers came into the action. Actually, if you include some of today's results, they have a two point lead over Detroit. If you're looking at the wild card, a four point lead over the Islanders and the Islanders have a couple of games in hand in their attempt to try and catch Philadelphia in the Metropolitan Division. The Islanders have lost three in a row now. They picked up one point today, but they were on a successful road trip, and they finished it off a little with a dud. Brady Kachuk with a hat trick today, including the overtime game winner on Long Island. Here's DeBrusque. He'll scurry over the line, feeds to the right circle. McAvoy sent it toward the front of the net. DeBrusque tapped it wide. Far corner, the Flyers jam it ahead and out to center ice. Waiting is Couturier. He'll now walk it over the line. Backhands to the near side. Grabbed by McAvoy. Sorts it out. Pounds it up the left side to Marchand. He's got two assists tonight. Dangles around to check. Forster went for a hit. Knocked him down. We're going to have a penalty here on Forster. Swimming off of the extra attacker. Lee Marchand's okay. He gets up. Well, he was Has something spinning, to away, say. spinning away from the first hit there. And Forster was on his way to the bench. And took him out. And 
The Flyers will now get possession of the puck and the Bruins to the power both, play when we return. Both referees with their arm up. 9.07 left here in the third. Bruins 5 and the Flyers 2 on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. One, two, three, four. Those are numbers, but you already knew that. If you want to know what number you're going to pay each month for your car, use Kelly Blue Book My Wallet on AutoTrader. They're really good at numbers. Auto Trader. Well, I'll be a hitchhiker in an Easter Bunny costume. Hop in. Where are you headed? BJ's Wholesale Club to do my Easter shopping. I have so many baskets to fill. That costume is so lifelike. There's not even a zipper. Oh, there's BJ's. I can hop out here. Look at him go. Get a $15 digital coupon when you spend $150 on practically anything in one transaction through March 31st. Coupon will appear in your digital gallery on April 4th. Terms apply. Go to BJ's.com slash Easter coupon for details. Not a member? Join today. BJ's. Absurdly simple savings. Wings are here. Oh, from... No, I'd never order from... Anymore, Popeyes now has wings in five flavors. Ghost pepper, roasted garlic parmesan, sweet and spicy, signature hot and honey barbecue marinated in louisiana spices hand battered and flipped makes no sense they're 5.99 for six pieces taste them mm, crunchy outside and juicy inside consider me a convert that's the most romantic thing you've said to me all month we don't make sense we make chicken love that chicken from popeyes price may vary the games play here right to the steers it to the left corner great she's got it right circle pasta fires he scores David Pasternak! Jones under center. A give to Stevenson. Runs it through the right side. Go! Goal. Bounces outside Shoot. 20. Goodbye. To the 10. To the 5. End zone bound! Patriots take the lead! Touchdown! New England! Bang, bang, two! You're Good listening play. to 98.5 The Sports Hub. Stay tuned for more. Listen live. Check out our podcast with the 98.5 The Sports Hub app. Just over nine minutes left here in the third. Tyson Forster in the box. Bruins up 5-2. to two. Now the situations are different, but two nights ago when the Toronto Maple Leafs had a power play chance late in the third period with a big lead in Philadelphia, the Flyers were a little upset at who was on the ice. Yeah, well, this is a very much, different situation. much different situation. 5-2, nine minutes to go. That's... Uh... Flyers steal the puck. They'll carry it out. Yep. Ooh, I thought the Bruins would get a penalty there. I think Paling tried to draw one. I think I Here's Marchand over the line left side. Some of the people in the booth next to us thought so as well. <laughs> right point. McAvoy high slot feeds in the near circle. Did you see some of the Flyers brass before the game? Coil out at center ice. Ooh, get out of the way. Hathaway, Hathaway, Hathaway took a run check. at him. Right circle. Pasternak walks in. Centered looking for Marchand. Oh. Back door. He couldn't complete it. It was there for him. Marchand back of the net. He was a little disgusted with himself he that he is. couldn't finish. He is. That pass was there. Marchand sitting on 399 goals. There are thir currently 13 guys in the league with 400 or more goals. Pasternak weaves his way in. The puck to the near circle. Lawton played it off the glass out to center ice. Scooped up by DeBrusque. They wheel over the line. Feeds far circle Van Riemsdyk. Shot out in front. Sandstrom the, the save. He's down. And then Linoma drive. That got blocked out in front. And Sandstrom takes it right into the chest. Judd, I know you, you read about that. I, I, I don't know if you saw the highlights of that game. So Toronto was on the power play. It's not the same power play you were talking about. Toronto's on the power play. Three of the Flyers were without sticks. Wow. <laughs> Three of the four flyers that were on the ice didn't have sticks. I don't know if they lost them or they were broken, whatever the case was. They were without sticks. And finally, it's like a you know, it's like an old-time practice when the coaches tell the defenders <laughs> that not to have sticks and give the power play a little confidence, right? Um, or, or turn the stick over. We used to do that and you couldn't play with you know the stick the right way. You had to play, you know, with the knob on the ice. And but three guys without sticks, and eventually the Toronto Maple Leafs did score. Here's Lindholm, carries up the left side, 25 seconds left on the power play. Over the line, right side, now Geeky, he's got one tonight. That tied it in the first. Along the near side, everybody almost, jousting for the puck. Almost had another one on that last rebound opportunity. And it's smacked out to the neutral zone by the Flyers. And the Bruins did go with two, 
Two defensemen on this power play just with this lead right now. So when they practiced it this morning, which is one defenseman. It's only their second power play chance of the game, and it's now expired as Forster is out of the box, so they're one for two. The second unit went with, with two defense. First unit, just McAvoy. Wheeling up the middle, here's Frost. Right wing feed. Put it on Tippett's tape. He'll slam it back of the net. Over to the near side, Carlo crashes in. Puck kicked along the near side. Bruins wedge it to the middle and get it out to center right. Zamula cut it off. Here's Tippett. Hands up right wing. Frost throws it in. Cut off by the Bruins. Carlo looking up ice. Dish to the middle just out of Watherspoon's reach. He'll snap it back to Carlo. Fires up right wing out at center ice. Deflected in by Brazo. Cut off by Johnson. And the puck deflects to the near corner of the Bruins zone. Watherspoon takes a look. Saucer it over to the near side. Rimmed by Farabee to the far hash. And then Beecher with a steal. He'll feed to the center circle. Brazo with the Bruins changing. Dumped into the right corner. Goes to chase against the veteran defenseman Mark Stahl. Frederick drags it out in front. It's almost chopped into his own net by Couturier. Bruins get it back. Frederick could try. That got blocked. And the Flyers wheel it out to center ice. Back in into the right corner by Couturier. DeLaurier on the ice, trying to scoop it up. He scores! Back door at the far post. Nick DeLaurier with Swayman, thinking the puck was going to come to the near side. And the Flyers with life. Bruins 5, the Flyers 3. Yeah, that was a strange one, right? DeLaurier just kind of rolls off of a hit down low, and everybody expected that puck to come around the other side. And he's right place at the right time. A little forecheck there on Lindholm. The puck gets pushed behind, and Couturier keeps it alive. Everybody expected that puck to continue on. That and Swayman was all the way over to the right post, and that puck came back the other way, and Delorier, the recipient. So good forecheck by Delorier, and then he gets to the net. And... Nick Strange Delor one. He was a healthy scratch in the last game. That's his first of the season. So the margin is two with just under six minutes remaining here in regulation. Bruins fire the puck all the way down. Along the near side, the Flyers will fire it out to center ice. Cates over the line right side for Sanheim. Bounces off a check. Right of the net. Back of the cage. Centered. Deflected by Swayman. Far wall. It's Marchand. Takes a look. He'll just jam it to the center circle. Flyers get it back. Over the line, here's Hathaway. Hathaway near side. Worked on by Pete. Hailing with a shot. That missed the target. Far corner paling. Up top, Zamula shoots and swim at a glove save. He got a chance to look at that one. 5.04 left here in the third. Bruins five and the Flyers three. We'll take a timeout on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins radio network driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. The Jeep Celebration event is going on right now with exceptional offers on a wide selection of Jeep brand vehicles. If you're looking to supercharge your next adventure, look no further than America's best-selling plug-in hybrid, the Jeep Wrangler 4xe. Or choose the luxurious Grand Cherokee or Grand Cherokee 4xe. All celebrations must come to an end, so hurry and visit Jeep.com or your local Jeep brand dealer for great deals during the Jeep Celebration event. Based on 2022 CYQ4 sales, J.D. Power retail sales data, Jeep is a registered trademark. Well, I'll be a hitchhiker in an Easter Bunny costume. Hop in. Where are you headed? BJ's Wholesale Club to do my Easter shopping. I have so many baskets to fill. That costume is so lifelike. There's not even a zipper. Oh, there's BJ's. I can hop out here. Look at him go. Get a $15 digital coupon when you spend $150 on practically anything in one transaction through March 31st. Coupon will appear in your digital gallery on April 4th. Terms apply. Go to BJ's.com slash Easter coupon for details. Not a member? Join today. BJ's. Absurdly simple savings. The home of the Rivs, the Sports Hub. Face off in the near circle of Bruins zone. Flyers opened up a 1-0 lead at 4-18. In the first period, Ryan Paling is ninth. Morgan Geeky tied it before we hit the first intermission. Joel Faraby put the Flyers back in front at the 12-01 mark of the second. Charlie Coyle, even the game before we hit the second intermission with a power play goal. And then in the third, a three-goal outburst, two minutes and 56 seconds apart. Coyle, Beecher, DeBrusque gave the Bruins a 5-2 lead. Nick Delorier ended that run. And it's 5-3 Bruins with five minutes left. 
Far corner of his own zone at Sanheim. Snaps it on left wing. It was behind York. It kicks to Frost. Now Tippett returns. York. Frost out in front. Shoots. He scores. He went between the legs. And he beats Swayman. It's 5-4 now. Off the rush here for the Flyers. And it looked like McAvoy lost his balance. So it was a give and go here by the Flyers. Good speed coming up the ice. Bruins looked like they had that play taken away in the neutral zone. And then the give and go. Frost, Tippett. Tippett returns it for Frost. As Carlo was trying to get himself back up. And as he's coming from left to right across the front of the net. Yeah, he went between the legs and then under the arm or between the arm and body of Swayman. So a quick response from the Flyers, and it's a one-goal affair. With 4.41 left, here's Santa walks it in. <laughs> left to the net, almost got free, and the Bruins can't get the puck out. Near circle, it's fired by Lawton and gloved by Swayman. Well, check out the hardest working player of the week content on 985thesportshub.com, brought to you by the Peterson School. They're hosting a one day explore the trades event. Come sample HVAC, electric, oil, and plumbing classes. Visit petersonschool.com to sign up. The Peterson School, we teach the trades. Frost, a first round pick of the Flyers back in 2017. He went 27th overall. Flashed some skill. Off the face top, the Flyers have it. Here's Zamula. His pass to the middle deflects out to center ice. And the puck carries to the far corner of the Flyers. And Beecher closes in. And the Flyers will guide it out to the neutral zone. Can't connect on the pass. McAvoy sorts it out. He'll drill it off the glass to Brazo. He'll fling it up the middle. Lou Boquist had to get around Zamula. And now the Flyers with a puck over the line left side. Faraby. Faraby pokes it near side, flings near circle, Lawton. Left circle, Faraby across, Sanheim shoots. Swam in an awkward save, what did that hit? I think it hit somebody back door, either York or Watherspoon. And Brazo makes sure this puck gets out and goes all the way down. 340 left here in regulation, five to four Bruins. What was a comfortable lead is now an uncomfortable lead. Peak back of the Bruins net. Couldn't fish it free. Bruins have spent a lot of time defending here. Right point. Now to the near point. It's York. Sanheim. A lot of traffic out in front. York feeds to the far side. York gets it back. Bats it behind the net. Thrown out in front. It's fired and denied. And now here's Heinen walking it ahead over the line left side. Shoots, he scores! Jim Heinen with a bullet by the glove hand of Sandstrom. Bruins six, Flyers four. Well, I tell you, I mean, you battle, you battle as the Flyers are doing. That last shot block leads to the odd man rush going the other way. It's actually a three on two. Heinen coming down the left wing. You got Frederick on the right wing. He's got a trailer as well. Heinen takes a look. Doesn't like what he sees, and he just rips this shot. Coming down the left wing, up and over top of the glove hand side of Sandstrom. Look, it's a good shot, but man, you need to save there. It's a really good shot. Your team just battled back to make it a one-goal game. I mean, Give credit for the, the shot, the shooter, but... Sandstrom off the ice for the extra attacker. Bruins up two with 2.50 remaining in regulation. Back of the Bruins net, Carlos. Pounds it around to the near side. Near point, Farabee keeps it in. Rink wide, not of the right point. Adder, right corner, back of the net. Frost wings it up top. Tippett settles it. Fires to the right circle. Frost across. Konechny near hash. Diagonally up top. Now Tippett shoots. Blocked by Marchand. Driven back of the net over to the near side. Flyers making a change up top. It's a six on five. Frost wheels to the high slot. Backhands to the far wall. Almost didn't get there in time. Now connecting near circle. Send it out in front. Deflected. Wrap around. They score. 
The wrap to the far side. Tucked in by Farabee. He's got two goals. And it's 6-5 to five with 2.04 left. Well, the first shot didn't quite get to Swaim, and he was playing it like it would. And now he's a little off balance, and he'd come out to cut down the angle, and Farabee's sensing that, and he goes all the way around. It was a tip shot in front by Tippett, so it never did get to Jeremy Swayman, and then he's not able to get to the wraparound by Farabee. Sandstrom back in net. This game was 2-2 at the end of two periods, and the Bruins made it 5-2. And it's now 6-5 Bruins with two minutes left. Bruins give the puck away. Up right wing, Lawton kept it in. Sandstrom at the last second spots it, and he's going to head to the bench for the extra attacker. Near corner, Forster with a cross check. That goes uncalled along the near side. Bruins trying to pry it free. And left point now, York, rink wide. Konechny shoots and swam in a chest save, put it down, and then finally gets a whistle. Yeah, that's a pretty good cross check. I, I don't know if it gets called at this point of the game, but remember now the Flyers do not have a timeout. It was a well-used timeout. It kind of slowed down the momentum of the Bruins. So they'll just take their time now. Face off in the far circle of Bruins end. Frost is going to come in and take the face off against Beecher. The face off nearly dead even. Bruins are going to call their timeout. They wanted to see what the Flyers lineup will look like. And Oh, Judd, they did me a favor here. One more read. Hockey season is peerless boiler season. Replace your old boiler and water heater with a new peerless boiler and pavilion tankless water heater. Find your local dealer at peerlessboilers.com. And remember, peerless boilers, the world's best built boilers. Joe Sacco's going to take out the dry erase board and talk things over. And on the Flyers bench, Rocky Thompson talking things over with the Flyers. The Flyers had cut it to 5-4 after the Bruins had opened up a 5-2 lead. Then Dan Heinen scored. But that did not quiet Philadelphia. Joel Farabee came back with his 21st. To make it a one goal affair. And this has been a situation that's been difficult for the Bruins all season long. Defending all six year. on five. All year. Or most of it anyhow. Net to our right vacant. John Beecher in for the draw. He'll take it against Frost. Lefty against lefty. Beecher wins it. Back of the net, McAvoy rockets it around to the near side. This doesn't get out. Farabee jams it into the near corner. Hit the referee skate. Konechny wings it in front, and this one sails off the surface. Yeah, so the, the faceoff win, you win it. McAvoy's job is to wrap that puck around. Coyle's trying to get all the way over to those boards, the far boards, to chip this puck out. But it was a really strong pinch down the wall to keep it in. See what the Bruins decide to do here. That was a good face-off win by Beecher. Now the face-off comes to the other side. They'll take Beecher off and they'll bring Coyle in for this draw. And DeBrus cop down to the ice. Off the draw, the Bruins have it. Lino oh. fires it up the left side all the way down. Yep. And we got well, an icing gotta, call. Try to win it again. 117 left here in the third. Frost is 111, lost four. Uh, Connect me. Getting his skate worked on over on the bench.
Well, how much are they're you going to allow? Lot, they're giving him a lot of time right if now. If you're Chris Lee. Tell him to sit down and bring somebody else out. Jim Montgomery is glaring down at the Flyers bench, and specifically at Lee and Konechny. Face off in the near circle in the Bruins' end. Frost against Coyle. Coyle wins another one. Linnell to the far corner. Marchand, he'll fling it up the middle and back out to center ice, gloved by York. Everybody gets back on side. Back of the net, it's Swayman. Sent to the far corner. Linnell tries the far glass. This does not get out. Now Marchand's got it out at center ice, over the red line. Had his pocket picked by Tippett. The Bruins shovel it back into the Flyers' end. 55 seconds left. Puck slapped into the near corner of the Bruins zone. Lindholm takes a look over both shoulders. Flips to the near corner. McAvoy sent it to the middle. Flyers get it back. Wrap it to the far side. 40 seconds left. Right corner tip it. Back of the net. Banked it up to the right point. This is going to bank all the way back into the Flyers zone. Bruins can get a change. Flyers are going to change some personnel. York, half a minute left. Up left wing, Zamula. Rockets one in. Swayman stops it back of the net. Swept it to the near corner. Peak drives it up the near side. Cut off by Konechny. Left point, Zamula. His pass. Heinen got a piece of Konechny near side. Knocked down. Near side. The Bruins shovel it out. And back into the Flyers end with nine. Ronnie Adder back to get it. Watched by Pasternak. Banked out to the neutral zone. Carlo. He'll slam it back to the Flyers line two. Carlo drives it up left wing. Bruins win. Bruins victorious. They're back in the top spot in the Atlantic Division. They've won four of their last five. They scored four goals in the third period, and they needed every single one of them. Jim Montgomery mentioned that the victory for the Bruins in Montreal was not a Picasso. This was not a Da Vinci. But it is two points. Your final tonight, Bruins six and the Flyers five. Beersy and I will bring you back for the postgame show in a moment on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. A hitchhiker in an Easter Bunny costume. Hop in. Where are you headed? BJ's Wholesale Club to do my Easter shopping. I have so many baskets to fill. That costume is so lifelike. There's not even a zipper. Oh, there's BJ's. I can hop out here. Look at him go. Get a $15 digital coupon when you spend $150 on practically anything in one transaction through March 31st. Coupon will appear in your digital gallery on April 4th. Terms apply. Go to BJ's.com slash Easter coupon for details. Not a member? Join today. BJ's. Absurdly simple savings. Mitchell College is a place of radical possibilities. Uncover your unique power and study what is most important, you. From starting or finishing a degree to career upskilling, or learn how you learn best, our compassionate approach embraces every side of you. Mitchell's inclusive community offers personalized study with pre- and post-college support, so you can be the best, authentic you. Learn more at mitchell.edu. That's mitchell.edu. Celebration event is going on right now with exceptional offers on a wide selection of Jeep Ram vehicles. If you're looking to supercharge your next adventure, look no further than America's best-selling plug-in hybrid, the Jeep Wrangler 4xe. Or choose the luxurious Grand Cherokee or Grand Cherokee 4xe. All celebrations must come to an end, so hurry and visit Jeep.com or your local Jeep brand dealer for great deals during the Jeep Celebration event. Based on 2022 CYQ4 sales, J.D. Power retail sales data, Jeep is a registered trademark. 
BackstageCountry.com, your online home for all things country music. Lainey Wilson is on a roll. She's delivering great music and teaming up with some of country's hottest acts. Text Lainey to 45911 to see which four Lainey Wilson collabs have us talking at BackstageCountry.com. Text Lainey to 45911 to get a link to the list sent right to your phone from BackstageCountry.com. At UMass Memorial Health, you can be a nurse, mental health clinician, medical assistant, but you can also be a after hours musician, family chef, t-ball coach. That's because we hire you, all of you, and treat you like a person, not a position, with great pay and excellent benefits like retirement savings plans and tuition assistance. Come be you at UMass Memorial Health. Explore all we offer at wehireyou.org. You call that a precision stop? When a rookie stunt driver, just give me a shot, meets the trainer who thought he'd seen it all. Come on, focus! They'll soon find out that behind the wheel of the Nissan Rogue, with the power of VC Turbo and the most fuel-efficient gas-powered engine in its class, watch this. The protege can become a master. But this is no ordinary blockbuster. It's a Nissan sales event ad. Woo! Level up your drive with a low $329 per month lease for 36 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Shop the Nissan sales event. Visit your local Nissan store and NissanUSA.com today. Auto Pacific segmentation excluding hybrids and electric vehicles. 2024 APA fuel economy estimates from 28 city, 34 highway to 30 city, 37 highway for 2024 Nissan Rogue. Actual mileage may vary. For well-qualified lessees, 2023 Rogue S all-wheel drive, 3569 initial payment excludes tax, title, license, and $695 acquisition fee. Disposition fee due at least send. Take from new dealer stock. Call 1-888-858-8319 for offer details. Ends 4 Hi, I'm Patrice Bergeron. This season, Avita Bank and I are continuing the Assist for Kids program. For every Boston assist, Avita donates $50 up to $30,000 to help Metro West families pay for youth hockey. I would also donate $7,000 for a total of $37,000 to help even more families. Get details now at avidabank.com forward slash Team Bergeron. Avita Bank, honest to goodness, member FDIC, member DIF. I have diabetes. I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. I have asthma. I'm at risk, too. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine, a Pfizer vaccine that can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. The only place to hear the game, the Sports Hub. Zaka wins it to the slot. Marshan backhand out in front. Coyle, scores! Brad Marshan just sent it across that blue paint, and Coyle stuffed it home. A power play goal. Bruins two, Flyers two. Welcome back to TD Garden. Your final tonight. The Bruins edge out the Flyers 6-5. to five. We're joined downstairs by Charlie Coyle, who had a couple of goals here tonight, the number one star. Charlie, what sort of an adventure was that third period? The explosion at the start and then weathering the storm at the end. Yeah, I mean, you never know how it's going to go, but you got to give yourself the best chance. And we did that early on. Uh, they're a hardworking team. We knew that. You knew they weren't going to sit back and uh, and, uh, and and let that happen. And uh, they have too much pride over there. They're uh, trying to be in a playoff spot and, and keep that. And uh, you knew it was going to be a tough third period. And um, are there some things that we can do better and look at? Yeah, 100%. Um, so I, I'm sure we'll do that. But we get to do that and take home two points. So it's, uh, you know, that's uh, you want to win those ones and, and learn from it as well. Charlie, comment on your line a little bit, if you will. I mean, you know, Brad Marchand's been a superstar here for a little while. It seems like Jake is a threat every time he's on the ice. And you guys seem to mesh really well together. What, what has made it work? Yeah, Marshy's Marshy. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't think I have to talk about him yep. too much. Everyone <laughs> around here knows what he brings, and you could talk about that guy and his work ethic, his compete, 
Um, and, and, and that's why he's a superstar is the way he works and his skill on top of that. Uh, so everyone knows that. Jake, uh, same thing with Jake, too. He's been here for, for a long time and using his speed to his advantage. Um, him working down low and coming out with pucks and uh, his talent with that, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it can be pretty deadly with those two, that combination. So I'm just trying to be a big body in the middle and, and drive through and uh, hang on to the puck myself and win those one-on-one -on -one battles and kind of create space for them and, and get to the net when I can with the puck too. And I think we're all capable of hanging on to it. And when you have a line like that, three guys who can, uh, who can uh, play with the puck and make plays, it's, uh, it, it can be deadly. So we want to keep proving that. Charlie, last thing. Back in 2015-16, you registered a career-high 21 goals. You're sitting on 23 with the two-goal performance tonight. What has led to this output here this season and the career-high in goals? Uh, it's tough to pinpoint one thing. I, you know, I'm playing with some pretty good line mates, as we just talked about, and they certainly help. Uh, as you see on that that first goal, it just a tap in, and um, even Pasta playing with Pasta on that one, where he just gives it to me with speed coming in, fresh off a line change, and a little unselfishness by some guys to change there and, and get me on. But it, it's it's a full team effort. Sometimes you're on the uh, end of uh, some pretty pretty plays, um, but I'm just trying to stay at the net and um, keep shooting. Uh, just like I said, keep playing my game and uh, finish the puck when I can. Congrats, Charlie. Thank you. Thank you, guys. The Shaw's and Star Market Foundation's Nourishing Neighbors Initiative is sponsoring our Feeding the Puck for Families campaign. For every help around a Bruins goal, they're donating another 100 fight food insecurity with 11 feeds tonight. That's another $1,100 that's donated to the Greater Boston Food Bank. You can follow along at 985thesportshub.com slash feed the Well, beers here, the thing is they don't say how. They sound 40 wins for the Bruins. They don't make it easy. On themselves, do they? <laughs> look, I mean, look, Philly got they got a nice little bounce on Delorier's goal. He didn't play a whole lot, especially as the game you know wore on. But um, yeah, I, not a nice bounce. It was a good play, and it, it fooled everybody uh, when he got coming off the boards and he was able to tuck that one home. And then there was a wraparound goal off of a deflected shot, and you know he gets swimming out to, to he's he's making a move to save the deflected shot, and and then around over to the far post in time, and then you're under siege. You know, it was a timeout called by by. Um, by Torts, uh, Tortorella, when, when the game was 5-2, and after the Bruins quickly scored those three goals to open up that lead, and it, it seemed to settle his team down and take some of that momentum away, and sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, and this time it worked for Philadelphia. The goal by Heinen was huge. You know, you wanted that save because the Flyers were pushing, and it was one goal game at that time and still plenty of time on the clock. Let's hear from the head coach, Jim Montgomery. We raised our level of, uh, you know, we raised our level overall. We were able to establish a lead. And then we got to learn that you got to close out games. You can't just think it's over, you know. The other teams are desperate, and it's like a playoff game. There's going to be those momentum and emotional swings. And, you know, <clears throat> we got to be a little bit better and a little more mature as a team to be able to close out those games a little bit easier, especially when you're up 5-2. Did you sense that coming at all, that, that late comeback be before it happened? I didn't. Um, I thought that we were doing a real good job. We even killed the penalty, you know, and I was like, okay, and I maybe um, maybe I should have sensed it. I don't know, but I didn't. But we started getting beat to our goal line. They started moving, and they started beating us, you know, to loose pucks below our net, and they were beating us to the net front afterwards. And after the first goal, we addressed it, and it didn't get better. On that, uh that ended up being the game, the game-winning goal. Um, with about three Is that Heinen's? Yeah, yeah okay. clear that ends up actually going on net to avoid the icing to get the uh, fresh legs on the ice, and that leads to the block shot, which Heinen takes the other way. Is that kind of clear? It's something that you practice, just trying to put it on net to avoid uh, the defensive zone draw? No, I think we were a little bit lucky there, you know, to be honest. Um, but the good play was the sacrifice people made blocking shots. and Gets the face off, moves it ahead. Uh, of that collection, and Beecher, Beecher's at the wing, but he gets a goal. Uh, of that collection, as a former center, what, what did you appreciate most in that bunch of stuff? No, well, just how, you know, uh, they're playing real sound, 200-foot <laughs> hockey. <clears throat> I do think a um, couple guys had a real good job, did good night on the dot. And it's something that, you know, Beecher has added to our team, and Zaka had a real good night. And we need to continue to get better there. You know, besides the important minutes he plays for us. In a similar vein, how important is it to have 
DeBrusque and Zaka going offensively the way that they are? Stretch? Well, you got to have you know depth to your scoring, and it's nice to see those guys you know have, playing with confidence offensively. Good. Thanks. Thanks. Service Credit Union is teamed with Charlie McAvoy for defending New England's heroes. Service donates $100 for every block shot and $1,000 for every shutout to pay for heart and cancer screenings for New England police and firefighters. Tonight, the Bruins had 22 blocks, so Service is going to donate another $2,200. Thus far, they've committed $107,400, and they pledged to donate up to $200,000 for the season. When the Bruins postgame show rolls on from TD Garden, Beersy will take a look.